Spooky scary stream. Let's get us going today. That's all done with. Now we're gonna have some fun. Marrying our children to each other in Crusaders Kings. And on that note, nothing says an incestual, a, a wincest. Quite like sneak energy. I don't know if it is sneakenergy.com. Use credit code SPARTY at checkout. Support the channel, bros. If you want to listen to that. Oh, no, no, oops, sorry, that's the wrong thing. For those that are looking for the music, that is my brother's music. He is a music man. You can find him on SoundCloud at C and C Instagram as well, too. Let's have some fun. Let's switch on over to this. Let me jack the volume back up. So we will continue our little romp here in Crusader Kings 3. Um, it's kind of hard. What the fuck, man? Like, just no. There we go. I am having a bit of an issue, clearly, with fucking light. Um, this is the next part of the Carlings video, yes. It's kind of hard to, like, actually... Um, okay, there we go. It's hard to actually, like, stick on with a Crusader Kings 3 campaign because they get like a they used to get tons of views right not as much anymore so it's kind of one of those things where it's like i just love playing this game so <laughs> we're gonna have some fun today um so one thing to note here if you are brand new to the game and you're struggling with something go ahead and let me know in the chat just mention at italian spartacus say hey you know this is what i'm struggling with the most and i can kind of walk you through it uh for those that are maybe really good at the game or something that uh that uh, people that have been playing this for a long time and just like wanting to see someone blitz through this on on speed five that is not the scope of this campaign or of this stream so if you are bothered by that you can head on out unfortunately we'll be kind of taking this at speed three and four i sometimes jump into five and i'm trying to speed something up quickly but the goal here is to help people that are having an issue playing through the game on console and whatnot and they just want to learn more about uh, certain mechanics and what have you so we just finished our war here to take uh, Amiens. We just took Valois. We started off, of course, with Vermandois, and we got Clermont as our first little action. So we now have the Duchy of Valois here with Duke Herbert. Um, we have a disgusting amount of children. Uh, a disgusting amount of female children, which is actually, in all honesty, not too bad. When we do deal with eventually uh, dying... Hopefully, we won't have any male children to really worry about how this all shakes out. Our son, our heir, is actually pretty pretty great. He accidentally killed someone in the middle of a hunt, so he does now have the murderer fame trait. That is what it is. But he's got a nice 18 stewardship, 14 learning. He's got ambitious, which gives him a lot of great things. It does really help or hinder him when it comes to stress game, but uh, it's, it's turning out to be a pretty fun campaign so far um one thing actually i've not covered in any of my kind of um in any of my like quick start videos if you take a look at your wife your wife's skills when she assists you 50 percent rounded up goes towards you i'm sorry rounded down rounded down so for example here she's got 14 intrigue if she were to help me with court intrigue, it would grant me seven intrigue. It gives me seven intrigue into my stat pool. And you might be wondering, what does the, what does intrigue actually do? You hover over this and it tells you exactly how it helps you out per the magnitude as well. So because we have good intrigue, because it says in parenthetical notation good, um, we get these following effects. Scheme discovery, hostile scheme success chance, increased effectiveness in intrigue schemes, and increases chance to successfully imprison another character. Let's remove my wife from court intrigue and just put her onto us patronage. 
And you can see this drop down to poor. So what we were once at 15% scheme and hostile scheme success chance, now it's down to 8%. Just to kind of give you an idea of how these attributes and stats, stats kind of work themselves out in the game. Uh, there's also assist ruler, which is basically an aggregate of all of her abilities uh, put into you. I think it's something like 20% or something like that. I can't remember. The Rise of Charlemagne DLC. Could you imagine, Nicholas? How many how many Charlemagnes that would cost us? <clears throat> Proteus, well, good luck, man. It's a fun game. It's hard at the beginning, but it is good. Better channel and just finish the other video. I'm trying to I'm trying to marry my character, but it only gives me people in my realm. So I don't know how this works on um on um console but you've got two different options here arrange marriage arrange marriage between two characters at your own court and find a spouse that means you're going to look within your diplomatic realm i'm sorry your diplomatic sphere um so that means you're looking pretty much there's no way to see your actual there's no representation there's no overlay that shows you your your um diplomatic range here, if I press inside, there's no way to organize this by distance, unfortunately, but... Oh, man. Van, Norman, Norman, so that, where is that? Where's William here? Oh, he's, he's, he's close. So my, your diplomatic influence, for the most part, this is pretty much just France. Your diplomatic range here um, does increase over time as you become a... A higher title too so if you become an emperor your diplomatic range is larger than that of a duke or a count um, there's also certain specific uh, perks that will increase your diplomatic ra um, range as well <clears throat> diplomatic range is one of those things that i wish you could press a button and just see where it affects you, you, you there's no way to, to unfortunately see that but yeah that's the difference between if you're trying to marry someone you probably are it's forcing you to choose a range marriage. I don't know on the console how to do find spouse. I've asked Paradox for a way to like say, hey, how do I access the, the console version from PC so I can make guides for people? So we'll see what they say back. They're usually super amiable and helpful for that kind of stuff. What perks increase your diplomatic range? Uh, it's in diplomacy. Oh, where is it? I don't remember the name of it, unfortunately. Someone someone probably knows off the top of their head, but I don't. DC, do you know off the top of your head? Personal scheme power. Diplomacy, I think, increases range. No, I, I maybe I thought it did on the on the top end. I don't know why I thought I did. Uh, let's see here. There is a perk. It's only one perk. I thought there was only one perk that extends. Maybe it's the dynasty perk I'm thinking of. But there's really only one way to increase your diplomatic range. Outside of like your actual title. I keep getting invaded. Is it because I'm doing a bad job establishing alliances before the first unpause? Uh, Alex, yes and no, because an alliance can make it so that someone is less likely to want to attack you because you have a higher military strength as a, as a result of that alliance. But <clears throat> uh, you might also be getting attacked too much because you are neighboring a lot of tribal. Like if I play this Prussia, Prussia is tribal. All these are tribal around. So you're going to deal with a lot of aggression across the way from each other. So I would just kind of consider that and try and be as aggressive as you can. I'm new to the game, don't have any specific questions, but confusion generally comes from the interaction of different layers of gameplay. Dynasties, house, and titles, and holdings. Um, depending on what level you're playing at, the way you interact with dynasties, houses, titles, holdings, all that action, basically holdings are your immediate lands, which you personally own title to. And the difference between 
your holdings and a vassal's holdings is the amount of levies and the amount of taxes that they give you. Anyone who is your direct vassal in that they are, uh, you are their direct liege. An example of this would be, I am a duke. So anyone I make a count, I am their direct liege. But if I were a king, I look at this king title. You see all these titles here? It says Duchy of Valois, Duchy of Burgundy, Champagne, Flanders, Normandy. Those would be my direct vassals if I appointed them vassalage. And then below them would be their respective counts. <clears throat> now, if you as a king have the, the, the Count of Maine as a direct vassal, he will give you less levies and less income because you are not his direct you are not his direct lead you should not be at least you'll have a little a little icon that'll tell you like oh they're pissed off because <clears throat> they're pissed off because uh they should have a duke in between them the game wants you to kind of follow the feudal system and the intended way for all these uh things to kind of make themselves out Okay. Like, I don't understand the best way to take out people to get the po the most power as well. Do you, or thank you very much, Harrison. Yeah, your domain limit's going to be something you're always going to be navigating around. You can increase your domain limit by having your wife manage your domains for you. So watch my domain limit. Okay, it didn't go up. It goes, it's in certain sets amounts. I think one more point actually would set me into the certain amount to, to uh, increase my holdings. This is 1066 start date. Okay, so back to court intrigue for her. Uh, it looks like your internet crapped out uh, 298. Just go ahead, and re go ahead and refresh. But yeah, make sure that anytime you're choosing your holdings, as in your specific lands, you should always be, your capital should be your holdings. My capital is the Duchy of Valois. Um, I could allocate some titles out here, like maybe to uh, Eudas here, give him a count, uh, make him a count, but um, when you're this small, it's not that crucial. Remember, anyone who is a vassal of you is going to give you a percentage of their levies. You will lose levies and income if you're too small. So I don't like to divide my land up too much. Okay, so our next target here. Let's kind of, let's kind of, what? Oh, okay. Let's kind of take a look at what we got going here. So we just, like I said, we just consolidated some land. We finished off a war. Um, we've got some children we can marry off here. So let's do some of those. Start with this one. Um, what does she want to be? She wants to be a steward or learning. We'll go ahead and give her that sweet hot learning education. And I don't think she is a child. Um... We, have, we lucked out and got a really good bishop. And we will find her a spouse. So, I've already covered this in a video, but I generally like to kind of look for um, a either an alliance or a, a specific kind of matrilineal marriage that really just helps me out. Duke Gerhard here of Upper Lorraine. Oh, and we... So, Lower Lorraine is connected to us because they are part of our dynasty. Um, is that true? I mean, I suppose it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the Carling Dynasty. There we go. They're just part of a, uh, what's it called, house? An offshoot house. So, 
they're quite strong, but Upper Lorraine is stupid strong. And I'm thinking, we're not really going to go tussle around with Upper Lorraine, we're really not looking to do that. And keeping them as a good ally would be great, because the difference between an ally that is um, Cadet House, thank you Samuel uh, Salome. The difference between an ally who is your dynasty means it's going to cost me renown to call him in um, uh, versus a an actual alliance just cost me prestige. So it's, a, it's an easier resource to come by. Like Spending renown is not as advisable in my opinion. So I think this is a place called the Duke of Bohemia, huh? I don't think the Duke of Bohemia has any sons that are marriable. Oh, <laughs> Prince Yaromir here, huh? Well, wow. why the Duke of Bohemia? Was there is there something about that Nicholas that I, I just don't know about? <clears throat> yeah, this is not even gonna go through. Yeah, Bohemia, Bohemia is actually very strong. But so is Upper Lorraine, so we're going to go ahead that. Is he blind? Oh my god, I thought he was blind. I was like, Jesus Christ. Where did his eyes go? <clears throat> so Duke Gerhard here of Upper Lorraine. We're going to make this happen. Can I? No, I didn't think so. She'll go off in that direction, Vassal Superior, that's fine. And then our other child. She doesn't have a predisposition yet, so that's fine. Now we could go marry into basically uh Ooh, who shot it off you took Dublin? <clears throat> the Habsburg Ye old Habsburg dude, Scotland's actually gotten quite large. They've taken quite a bit of land up here. And England at one point was uh Wow, whoa, whoa. England's had a kind of a wild history in this whole playthrough so far. <clears throat> so Alliance Power here. No one's really jumping out to me. Bosnia. Poland. Hungary. Where's this? What, what was that? This is a pretty interesting little one. Renal de Bouchemont. De Bouchemont. Bouchemou. Bouchemonte. What's better than 12 months of being a Spartan? 13 months. Thank you very much, David B. Continuing that legacy as a member of the channel. Can't tell you guys how much being a member helps me out. It helps me out a ton. How many bros we got watching here today? How many? What's our, what's our viewer tally up to? Didn't think so. I mean, this could actually be kind of cool. Is that his? Is that his like preferred heir? No, it's not. It's not his primary heir. He's already married. That's a cool coat of arms. Ninety three. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Make sure you're liking the stream. It does help me out a ton. I did not give Imperator Rome a chance. I went to go play it with its like 2.0 update, but I had just learned CK3. I was trying to learn Stellaris, and I was like, you know what? It's not. And unfortunately, a lot of the time when I'm um, uh, um, <laughs> when I'm trying to think of games to play and games to cover and stuff like that, I have to unfortunately think of the viewership and, and how that's going to come back to me. Like, if I play a game and not a lot of people want to watch it, it's detrimental to me because this is my full-time job. So even if I enjoy playing it, I can't do it, which is unfortunate. So, but that's why I've got games that I play not on this channel. Like, I play the shit ton of, out of Elden Ring. And I'm definitely thinking of picking up Lego Star Wars because it looks fucking sick. Because I'm a gigantic child. Um, 
I'm going to play Victoria 3, though. I, I'm going to definitely make tons of guides for Vicky 3. Vicky, 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 Vicky. Um, okay, so let me look over here. Champagne. See, the... I have to deter... We're going to decide where we go next. I'm just trying... I think I'm just going to do... We'll do her to inheritable matrilineal, and we'll go from there. Um, ooh! Tunnel the fair dunkled. Uh, dude, Lego Star Wars looks fucking sick. So what we're going to do is here, we're doing a matrilineal marriage. So I'm pulling someone into my house. And the point of it would be to just kind of propagate specific traits here, like Robustamante, Eustace here. I, I don't have any on Marth, uh, which I think is the precursor to Martha. Um... I don't have any inside info on Vicky 3. You know who would? I don't think... It doesn't have inside info, but like... One Proud Bavarian gets the the Dev Diaries a day ahead of time, I believe. Or I, That's what I had heard through the grapevine. I don't know if that's actually true. So he actually is super... And he knows a lot of the Paradox folk. Um, I mean, he lives over there in Europe. I do not. Um, so I am not... on. I'm not at the cool in the know. They are. What's up, man? Um, kind of. I mean, just it's a good little robust. I mean, quick is a great trait to just keep in the bloodline, and I do kind of want to do it, but yeah, he would one hundred percent be in our NDA. He would not be able to talk about that at all. But we'll just kind of. I, you guys know how much I love Duke Robert, Duke Robert of Apulia, the Outville. The Oteville. Okay, so we've done that one. Uh, now we have to decide. Do we go north to Flanders? We already have a claim here on the County of Reims in Champagne. The issue is that this will be difficult to do much to. Um, who do they have an alliance? Uh, allied. Oof. It's Robert II, who is actually not that big. And this guy, Genoa. So we could go to war with Champagne and start chipping away at Champagne. Or we go north to Flanders. Uh, what sinews of war? I don't know about that, Manfred. Uh, all paradox feel like it really takes me a half semester to figure them out. Okay, so for example, I'll be... In second place for air, I'll kill the guy, but then it goes to someone else. Is it because they had a child before they ended up dying? Yes, 100%. They would, they would interrupt you in the... You will kind of want to always look at this. Uh, so, just to kind of see where I got that. You click on a title, and it shows you the line of... Oh, God, this line of succession. So, my son, then all my daughters would inherit this. You should take Normandy and return Norman blood back from Italy. What do you mean, McDaddy? Return Norman blood back from Italy? <clears throat> I'm kind of with you on that, DC. Getting a coastal city so we can just... In fact, I might go with uh, uh, Bologna here. Just to get access to a port. And that would be the beginning of me allocating uh, uh, my stuff away. <clears throat> Ned Flanders. Okay, so you can fabricate a claim here on Malone. This is all set. You are on domestic. Uh, I don't know, domestic is going to be all right. Depose the false king. I, I mean, it, that's, that's absolutely not that easy. Claim the liege's title. I kind of want to see what happens if I press that button. Get an unpressed claim on the Kingdom of France. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty goddamn cool if I could pull that off. <clears throat> I mean, I clearly don't have the uh, 
prestige A for it. Oh, I got what you mean, McDaddy. So Nicholas Barber asks a really cool question. Does Herbert does Hubert have a claim to lands in Italy since he is the descendant of Pepin Carling, who was the king of Lombardy? No, unfortunately. And we we're gonna do a we were going to do a history time today, but I just ran out of time trying to set it all up. So uh but yeah, the, the we're gonna be basically talking about the Merovingians and the do nothing kings, which are basically a bunch of puppet kings that really don't well, they do nothing. According to this, oh, ah, oh, fucking, oh my god, Butterfingers over here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, count does that make up the jure of this title? Okay, okay. I was like, man, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't think I could do that. So that should be good to unpause. I think we're all good here. That's all good. Uh, low county control for you. Okay, you're doing that. You're set to that. You're set to this. I don't think there's anyone else that's better here. Di I'd say dipl of all of the positions, I find Chancellor, or the Diplomat, the hardest one to reliably um, fill. We're not going to go on a pilgrimage. We're not going to invite claimants. We're not going to embrace celibacy, show expanded alert options. That's a mod, by the way. Our position is good. Um, antiquarian's not worth it because we're not a king. I, I do want to get become a king though. We're going to access the royal court. Uh, Seneschal. <clears throat> <clears throat> Apologize, guys. Okay, so this guy Pierre would make a resplendent court tutor. Um, I don't think this is active in the console, but in order to find out what someone's aptitude and why they are attributing to it, it's his learning skill, he's patient, also, um, it shows you what the effects are if it does happen. Have child study language interaction, that's very nice. And a shawl, just average across the board here. A bodyguard, eh? Has a chance to prevent assassination murder schemes. Reduce your risk to die to be captured in battles you're both fighting in. Powerful agent in a hostile scheme against you, though. Oh, I got all these hooks on him. The playing tall strategy? Yeah. Tez, 100% works. 100% does. That's the cool thing about this game. Oh, Arnal's our personal champion, for sure. Dread Decay, Prestige? Yeah, for sure. We'll take the hit to our, uh, our income. A food taster. Why can't I not? Oh, there we go. No, Arnul, you are, you are the court champ for sure, my bro. You ugly beast of a man. How's about we find you a milady? Seem like a strapping person who would want a, a woman by your side. And then go feckin' and just have him just pop kids out. Just... Oh, yeah, we'll do that. I mean, honestly, to be... I mean, if, I, if, if I'm being honest, what I'd want to do... If I want to make... What people will do is they'll kind of make... Uh, knight mills. And to do that, you look for... Knights that have any of the congenital, not muscular traits, uh, strength traits. So, Herculean, those, those actions. In fact, we don't have any here. And what you do is, you would marry them then with someone with fecund. And they can just keep producing. Or you marry them with another person who also has a, has a strength trait. And that propagates that strength trait. Or it guarantees that it's at least a certain magnitude. So yeah, we'll, 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 we'll give the man a wife. We'll give him nice... Um, and send the proposal.
And do we have any other court guests to take advantage of before I press this damn button? Jaspert! Magdalene. Why would I do such a thing? A competent fighter. I don't like all these traits you've got, though. Deceitful and lustful? You are just gonna run ramshod through my entire kingdom. Oh, don't mind me just plugging everything that moves, bud. Dude, that needs to go. Okay. And I think we're all good. We're all good. Okay. So we can declare this war. But I just don't think it's worth it. We got some allies about to happen here once these marriages kick in. There we go. Alright, we're new dynasty head of the Carlings. I don't know why. Alright. Now, if we go to do that war. We have way higher power now, right? Because we just got into two massive alliances. But it's still a really sticky war I wouldn't want to get into. AC, so we didn't do history time today, man. I was going to do one on Flanders. I know you and I talked about it. But I decided not to today. Oh, that's pretty spicy. This dude. So he's allied to his wife, whose lands are right here. That's spicy, spicy sausage. Hmm. Interestingly enough, though. Yeah, okay, so when he dies, and when his wife dies, they will, his son, Arnulf, will take over those lands. So what's going to happen is the lands of Flanders, it's going to be, it's going to include Flanders plus this county right here. Well, this combined region. Oh, your alliance boosted your military strength. I didn't know. So, I, so your alliance is based, I'm sorry, your, your dynasty head position is based off of your relative strength. But I didn't know that alliance boosted that. <clears throat> Fine, ACS, you can leave if you want. I'll allow it. Yeah, guys, make sure you're liking the stream. It does help me a ton. Brian Gee, thanks for subscribing, dude. A knight has arrived. Louis. I like Louis. I like Louis a lot. Because he looks like he's down on his luck. <laughs> he looks not having a good time, huh, Louis? Come on over to the court. Of course you'd be, because he is a renowned physician. He is a legendary blade master. He is a skill tactician, and he's got a military engineer. This is a super big investment cost-wise. Should we do it, yes or no? Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it, man. I want to bring him to the court, but I mean, that just sinks my money right there. Kind of dangerous. Got a prisoner here? He's my rival? <laughs> well, uh... It just so happens you shall now stay in court. Who are you? Like, do you even have kids? Friends, rival? I mean, you're, you're, you're done, brother. Close family does he have? My sister-in-law? I'll just stay there. He is. I love this plan. Yeah, it's a huge investment. But you know what? Money is meant to be spent. <laughs> Louis is the type of guy I would get to die, <laughs> die in the first battle. You know what, dude? You are cer certainly not wrong about that. Another one, huh? Thordis. He's forty-five. Oh, Jean. Yeah, you and Jean are gonna make some strong ass little kids, brother. Oh, 
king, Thato. You get so many more cool things when you're a king. <clears throat> Me too, William. Me too, Billy Robbins. All right, Sway Infiltrators. Ooh. What am I doing? <laughs> it's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Paris, the capital of my liege king, Philip. Or, uh, Philippe. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Take this gold. Sure, fuck it. Greetings, Duke Herbert of Valois, your spy master, Marigot, dared to lead my sister, Countess, into carnal sin. I demand satisfaction for... This guy's gonna fucking make me bankrupt now. Gargamel, you son of a bitch! You're supposed to be crafty at this. You just blind albino your way into this whole situation? Well, how are you wounded, by the way? Who are you, too, to speak of me in such an ill manner? Uh, okay, someone, someone a little more pull than I thought you'd be. Ah, the Duke of Brittany. Hmm, ah, delightful. It kind of depends, Proteus. Kind of depends. Um, the court position is always the is the position to take care of. Um, personal champion's good because I like the prestige gain, and it depends on what you're playing as. Um, antiquarian and court tutor are also quite nice. Court tutor, though, allows you to get uh, your child to study more languages and improves education outcomes, which I think is very, very good. In fact, I might make Pierre here the court tutor <clears throat> just to kind of get him, just to kind of get some help with that. <clears throat> Antiquarian helps when you've got artifacts. Uh, the problem is that a lot of the cool things like Royal Architect or Antiquarian... Cupbearer is actually kind of nice. I like Cupbearer. Um, court poet, musician, stuff like that. Executioner. They they can't take place until you're a king. So that's unfortunately the big issue. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I might. It, it definitely is McDaddy. I definitely do. I might do a court tutor right now. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, so you pay 25 gold to him. I spend 75 renown. He gains opinion, and Gargamel gains opinion. Gargamel will plead for your forgiveness publicly. Gargamel loses opinion of me and spends... I mean, Gargamel, you did this to yourself, you asshole. And Duke Conan. I mean... What are you gonna do, dude? You can't wage war on me. Leave me alone. He's got a claim on the Duchy of Normandy. That's actually pretty huge. Okay, good. At least the Duchy of Normandy is still stupid strong. <laughs> no, Eli. They've never been exhausted, man. Please, by all means, let them ride. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'll go with uh, good one, Gargamel. I mean, he loses his opinion of me. Whatever. Uh, this costs me money and... What's it called? And I gain opinion of him. And I'm not looking to do anything with Brittany anytime soon, so... Does it fit my character persona? I'm arrogant. Yeah, I'm temperate. I'm cynical. For sure I would do something like that. I'd be like, yeah, high five, Gargamel. Way to, way to tempt her into sin. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dad, you gotta check the pictures. It's just like Pepe. <laughs> My rival has fucking died. Later, Gee. Deuce is homes. This is a good sneak flavor. It's pixel punch. Head on over to... Sneakenergy.com. Use that creator code SPARTY at checkout. I know I talk about this a lot, and I, I'm expositing because we're waiting for this to finish. All right, we got some stuff to happen. Um, I like... Do I really want the... Do I want the fertility... Do I want fertility right now? Ah. <sighs> 
The reason I like Sneak so much is because it's like, it's caffeine, it's BCAAs, and that's really it. There's no proprietary bullshit blend. Is it good for you? Is anything good for you in outside of moderation? <laughs> So one kind of the tricky thing you kind of have to get used to when you're playing uh, Crusader Kings, eh, I'll save that last sip for later, is kind of timing your your rulership. At the beginning, obviously, you want to make sure you, your ruler can live for quite a long time. In 47, we're, we're really like maybe at the 55% line, 50% line of, of this character's life. Like he's probably going to live for a long time. And when you pick up stuff like whole of body, you're going to live longer. But you then have to look at fertility. And the big thing you have to consider too is for your heir, if you are age 25 and you have a just beast of an heir, let's say he's got Herculean, he's got genius, he's got beautiful, he's got all the best traits. Well, by the time you die, he'll take over and he'll be... 15 years away from dying himself. So you kind of have to weigh your heir and when you have them and, and how to kind of work that all out. As it is, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm 47, my kid's 18, it's pretty solid. I'll have a chance if I go with whole of body to have another kid later in the game. I'm gonna wait to get whole of body here. If I wait until I'm older, my overall fertility chance drops. And if that happens, then it means I will, I'm will i less likely to have another male heir that might introduce a lot of intrigue into the final years of my life in this character, which can be a super big headache. So you, you kind of have to, what's it called? Succession doesn't start at death. Succession starts when your character inherits the throne. That's when you start thinking about your succession. That's something I probably should have said in any one of my 50 fucking videos in this situation. Okay. How old's my wife? About the same age as me and McDaddy. When she hits the menopause, uh, she comes around, she gets the menopause. I tortured someone and didn't get dread as a Polish count. Would you happen to know why? Um, no. I think it's stupid only criminal can be an executioner. They often left that role, left that role for doctors. Um, a lot of the times, executioner was used as penance. No, I've not tried Third Age. I've always wanted to. Scientific cultural fascination progress. I don't really need that. That's actually not too bad. Learning per level devotion. Mm -hmm. Color learning per five. Hostile six is genius and filmic growth. Okay. And theologian. I don't really like theologian too much. Uh, maybe we'll start working towards scholar too. <clears throat> and like I said, we're going to get a whole body a little bit later. Faith in County. We, we won't need to convert any faith at all. And Arnold here, what do you like? Ooh. You're pretty goddamn good. You're not 90 gold good, though. Betrothed can marry my son to Pelagia of Pernik. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me do something about this really quick. I don't know if there's anyone actually worth it. I mean, I could break this patrol. I've actually never broken a patrol, do you know that? I think this is a good place to start, though. I mean, something can be said about, like, not gaming the system too hard and trying to get, like, that genius out the gate and stuff like that. Like, okay, if I type in genius. <clears throat> uh, oh, fuck. Uh, genius trait, female, unmarried. 
there's no one even in really our age bracket. There's there's this milady here. Evil blackguard. Jesus Christ, she's a superstar though, to be honest. But, uh, vengeful, sadistic, ambitious. Eh. I think we just go with it. Let's just let it ride. Okay. Dynasty head change. Duke Godfrey replaced me again. That son of a bitch. Uh, who wants a powerful... Who, Mayor Joffrey, you are... Mayor Shithead. Former ruler piece of shit. Okay. Dude, is this not done yet? God damn. Need more money. Because it's going to cost us some money to do. All right, Duke Conan has declared war on Malige. Uh, can you? You can manage that, right? You're good with that? Because if Duke Conan, uh, for the Duchy of Normandy, no less, too, well, I certainly hope the Normans join you in that fight. <laughs> okay, so. I finally have enough material to case you are the rightful lord of the County of Boulogne. Okay, we have enough. We are a we're a duke, Karma. We are a duke. So we can do this. Oh shit, this guy's a fucking beast. I kind of just wish. I wish I could get. So you have a chance when you go to establish these. Is that you have a chance to get a claim on the duchy and then you go to war for the entire duchy which is just so preferred <laughs> otherwise i have to do this piecemeal <sighs> who why who who doesn't like this oh the guy who owns the county duh that was my son Yeah, I'm, that's kind of where I'm at. Do I just reject this and try again? I'm kind of surprised he's not been able to solidify a uh, claim on the duchy. All right, I think we reject it once, and we'll do it one more time. And if it doesn't work, we just... Uh, I can go back to three. Here's the question, unless it's already asked when I was gone, when is it best to raise crown authority and in what situation would you avoid raising it? So, crown authority is kind of a tricky one. Right now, it's fine for me to keep it at one. Two, rulers can change between available partition succession, titles can be revoked, vassals can be retracted, clan government vassals will provide at least 5% of levies and 2% of income. I don't have it right now because it's not worth it for me. If I had more vassals, I would probably push to this right now. But you have to just kind of be mindful that as you start to push into this, you get negative opinion, but you start to get more money from your vassals. I would look at your overall vassal health, like are they all happy? Then push into the third crown authority. Are they all pissed off at you? Well, then don't take the hit. Because the nice thing about this is that Crown Authority 3, here's the big one. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they use a hook on their liege. That one is massive to ensuring that you don't get vassal border gore, making it so that your vassals screw with their de jure lands. Because I like to set everything up really nice and neat in de jure. And, uh, or de jure. Uh, if you fuck with that, it pisses off the local population. Because they're like, well, I'm part of the Duke of Fland I'm part of the Duchy of Flanders, but now I'm a part of the Duke of Valois territory. I don't want that. I wanna be under the Duchy of Flanders. So it's kind of a Abba, it's go time. Thank you very much for the five dollar donation, man. So it's kind of a it's you just have to kind of run, run that razor's edge all the time. All right, Sway of the Good King. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my liege King Philippe in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most noble person you've heard of? 
King Philippe, without a doubt. Yes, good, good. <clears throat> Absolutely, play IT. Thanks for watching, man. Appreciate it, my brother. So they are winning that war pretty handily. The Britain claim of the Duchy of Normandy is getting dumpstered. Of course. Stupid. <laughs> it's hard to, it's, I don't even know what to call you other than stupid right there. All right, speed that up. In fact, warp speed. What do you mean it didn't work? We're swaying the shit out of this guy. I've never done stuff like independent or claimant factions. Do you level up your character to optimize or do you RP? You'd go for RP. Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, Zycorp. Like, for instance, I wouldn't probably choose any of the theologian ones if I wanted to really RP it, especially if I'm looking at this character's like. He's cynical, so he wouldn't go through, the, through through Theologian. But even looking at my campaign, I get z almost zero benefit from a lot of these. So sometimes I won't do something that is completely out of the way of the character. Um, from an RP standpoint, he, like I said, wouldn't be a Theologian. But like, okay, I'm not going to get any benefit. Of it. It'll just frustrate me, so I won't do it. But I try not to min-max the game. <laughs> swayed right when I should have swayed left. In fact, that's like a good lesson to anyone who's new to the game. Oh, I would not min-max if I were you. I'm contemplating whether to share something with my wife the next time we sit, we are by ourselves away from listening ears. The things I've learned about Adelaide will be of great interest to her. I share this secret. The se what's secret? What's the secret? Oh! Child heritage. I mean, she's just a guest. I mean, sure, whatever. Martial confidentiality. I don't, I mean, if I was married, I don't think there's anything I wouldn't tell my wife. Correction. I don't think there's anything I wouldn't tell my wife if she asked. Like, there's some things that I think people should just kind of, not necessarily have to themselves, but... I don't think my wife needs to know every little thing about the way I think and the way I, I, I'm processing things unless it actually affects our relationship or affects the way I portray my emotion and stuff like that. But if it's like, you know, my wife doesn't need to know how many times I daydream about being a space marine. You know, that just doesn't need to be a thing. That doesn't need to be a thing. Absolutely, Bobby Boom Master. I love this game. Oof. All right, chat. Do we do it again? Do we decline this and try to make a claim for the duchy? Still for the county, or do we just kind of go with the county and kind of get moving on? Right now, we're kind of at a stalemate. We we haven't done anything since the stream has started, we're an hour in, because we are at a sticky situation. It's kind of the, the double-edged sword of playing in a, um, in a feudal, massive kingdom. thing is, if you only take the duchy, he'll become your vassal. Yes, he will become my vassal, but what do you mean by that? Do you, do you mean that by going the county route, I get to build the, the, the duchy up more? <laughs> well, you never were a space wing. You're right. I don't want to tell that bitch anything. <laughs> Good call, McDaddy. We'll go... We'll go uh, Let's go with uh, just taking the county here, and we'll we'll chip away. We can get champagne too. Okay. Oh, look at this! He's getting Gwyneth over here. They're about to win that. They're about to win this fight war. About to be over. You I don't care what the fuck you want, man. Okay, so we can. I really wish I hadn't done this. In fact, we're gonna get mangonels, not onagers. It's gonna. I've done this to myself. 
I could, I could, I guess we'll take both, but you know what? No, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna fuck around with this. Shouldn't have done it, wasted the money, I'm an idiot. I have to, I have to deal with that. Oh, it's 75 to do that. Light footmen are pretty solid. What do they have in their military? So they've got bowmen, which we do actually need some bowmen. Bowmen are stupid strong in the early game. No, I'm actually very looking forward to Medieval uh, to Victoria 3. It's probably one of... It's one of the least talked about, but, but the most important um, uh, times in history is... The Victorian era. Who? God damn it, why aren't you doing... Are you, are you not... Oh, you're on seven months away from that. Alright, so this might actually happen. Consent ultimatum in 12 months. The reason... The reason the world is the way the world is today is in part because of the resulting end of the Victorian era and the fall of empires leading into the World War II. So when people blame America for it, I'm like, well, you know what? America didn't have colonies everywhere. Now we do, you know? I'm just waiting to get 55. I want to get the... Uh... There we go. I want to do this. There we go, there we go, there we go. I wanted to get these guys. Uh, we only have five, they have to build up, so it is what it is. But I just wanted to get that produced. And petition the liege. Petition my liege. I gained stress for doing this? Psh, whatever. Royal Vic, you're trying to raise popular opinion. Rest, resettle subject. Answer claim, unfortunately, we don't have, but I guess we could We could actually probably do send bailiffs. This might actually be helpful. I'm escorted to King Philippe's throne room where he beckons for me to approach and dress him. I carefully describe the problem my fiefdom's faces. My fiefdom faces, resistant to my authority, and beset by vagabonds and request assistance in restoring order. After listening to the speech, he frowns and rebuffs me. I apologize, but for the good of France, I just must refuse your request. Wait, my lord, hear me out. Let's see how it goes. Uh, oh, uh, weird. King Philippe, King Philippe thinks for a moment, then cries, Guillaume? 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 I... Require your counsel on this matter. The no, the nobly born chancellor steps forward, eagerly clutching his scrolls. Yes, the most delicate affair, my lord. Herbert, the king's archbishop, watches me quietly from the sidelines. No one, no one could question an argument left unrefuted by him. I am of the learning sort. And how is Herbert? Not as savvy as myself. Okay, maybe he's actually pretty good. Wife, assist me. Give me one more point. 47% outcome, even though I am like ahead of the curve here? That's just hog swoggle. Uh, what happened? It didn't tell me. That went away so fast, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Does anyone see what happened? Did it, did it say? Can someone rewind time and check? <laughs> for you and we will <clears throat> I think that means nay as well Ethan <laughs> I would agree with you my bro okay so we have quite the amassed military here so let us declare this war I think so right oh this is about to resolve let me let this resolve first perfect your culture has joined the High Medieval Era. Ooh! But this and that. No, it did not. Discontent is still rising. Damn, dude. Oh, we need to increase public 
opinion there, huh? Popular opinion. Peasant rebel show factions. Yeah, we know about that, but what is contributing to it? Chafing control. Well, that just what we have to do. I actually don't know how to deal with this. I, I know if we go to war, that will like... I know the peasants are revolting, but... Outside of letting it just trigger, I don't know what to do. So we're going to let it trigger. Before we jump into that war up north. Gives my gives me a chance to have my uh, archers replenished full. Just accept the demands? Absolutely not. <laughs> we shan't. Oh, your acquaintance do. Oh, this is perfect time to attack him. This is perfect. So he has made. Oh, Matilde on the French throne. ever gonna trip off here there we go nope go fuck yourself all right and we will raise this put it here raise the armies and that'll do I think yeah absolutely the peasant leaders are always so good Seed, it's fine. We don't need allies for this. We'll be good. Betrothed can marry. And this is for a pretty nice little alliance here. Up a burgundy. Cool. Excellent. Let's do this. There's relations of efficiency. It would be good. Uh, but I think, actually, yeah, no, we want to do. Plant cultivation. An easy win. Yeah, I don't think we captured him. Now we did not. Unfortunately, we did not capture him. Damn, he would have been great. He would have been a great commander. Because so oftentimes you can have a you do those wars and you win a you know, little fight and you win the fight and it says like hey you know he's a prisoner and you can then recruit him and take a look right peasant leader so army gold maintenance minus fifty percent general opinion decrease popular opinion increase um, he has giant which actually makes him a super good character to just make a shit ton of knights um, so unfortunately though we do not get him right now but. Now we do. <laughs> so he's our prisoner here. Negotiate release. Recruit him. Again, a weak hook on him. But it's not necessarily worth it. Is it recommended to have your sons as vassals in your own kingdom? Andy, yes. I, I like to do it. Alright, give me just one sec, guys. I actually... Need to use the Russian real quick. Just give me one sec.
I'm not gonna lie to anyone. You know, this this is this is a, this is a stream where we talk about honest things. Sure, we talk about video games, but you could ask me a question about anything in life, and I'll give you an answer about it. I'm standing here, I'm streaming with you, bros, and I definitely have one of those precursor farts that immediately went from like, yeah, you know what, no big deal. Oh, I gotta poop right now. So we're back. You're starting to see why the middle of the hour was. So <clears throat> you know, that's what people complain about the succession issues in Crusader Kings 3, and I'm like, God, you know what? It's so hard to deal with the game because you're always having to deal with some sort of succession issues. That's the way it was. In the medieval times, Gavelkind, Gavelkind, whatever, whatever the fuck it's pronounced, uh, <clears throat> the when we go through the history of France, it was split up across three sons almost the entirety of its time up until Charlemagne. And even then, it was split up further with his sons. Uh, the history of Spain, Leon, Castile, and Galicia, and Navarre were split up across four sons repeatedly with every single ruler. The history of the Kievan Rus, the, the river kids, Ruthenia, uh, all these, it's four sons. It keeps getting split up every single time. The practice of primogenitor was not necessarily as prevalent as you would think in the medieval times. And primogenitor means that your oldest son inherits the throne. So, that is a particularly grotesque Iberia. <laughs> How did you get the Carling Cross as your coat of arms? Will Max, uh, one of the one of my viewers, Aceus, sent me the clipboard for it. So if you if you go to your house, so here's like the default, right? And you click on this, customize house. You can change everything from here. Thank you for the donation. You go paste from clipboard. But thank you very much for the donation, Will. So you'd probably be able to find it on uh, on the internet. Best starter for a first timer on console. Apulia is my favorite start in the game, but if it's your very, very first time, just do the tutorial campaign with Munster and learn from uh, King Mershad here. What's up, Ozzy? How you doing, man? Did we get that guy? Is he good? Is he a bro? <sighs> okay, is he a knight? What's that fucking massive beast here? What was his name? Does anyone know his name? What was his name? High Tower. <laughs> okay, so our courtier. Uh, is. Is that French for ogre? Because it looks like it. Ogier. I mean... That helm is a, is a grotesque helm, I agree. <laughs> Whatever helm that is, is not the helm I want. Age. So, he has giant. And if we marry him to someone who has hail, they're going to make... Beast children. Are, are you are you serious, Proteus? That's hilarious. <laughs> She's older than him. But I think we can make it work. So they'll be married. And I think I might actually replace Mayor Edward here. Your marshal, vassal, and knight. I mean, I, I think he's just the better the better person for the job. House Melon. Yeah, I know he'll be pissed off, but dude, this guy is such this guy is a magician. What's up, Fless? Do the knights get any kind of friends uh uh special knight how the English get longbowmen? I do not believe so. Um, they don't get like a chevalier or anything like that. Can spar against own knights in single combat to gain modifiers. I actually did not know that was a thing. Successfully executing a romance scheme gives renown. Failing a romance scheme gives stress. Rulers are more likely to to start the romance scheme. So then let's start some romance with my lady here. We're almost done with that. We're almost done with that.
This guy? This this dude? Does it? Okay, we'll check. Chance de geste. Oh, bumbling squire, confident knight. I didn't know these were formidable banneret. I get banneret, I guess, with a fuck off. Fuck off. F famous champion. Ah. Blade master trades, craven. Knights are slightly more prone to injury during battles. May challenge rivals to single combat, inflicting stress to win. The tradition allows culture to unlock the valet innovation in the late medieval era. The poet trait, poet trait. Mar yeah, not, not seeing anything about it. But I don't... It would be here. I mean, they get armored horsemen. Because they have the innovation. Just arched saddles. They start with it. Build military academies and breed some super soldiers. I mean, I'm down for that. Oh, we need a duchy building for that. Okay, so now we're all good to go. Let's let's have some fun here. Ooh. I can do what? Oh. For the Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Ah, oh, on his behalf. Go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna go to war with the Holy Roman Empire because you want me to, bud. So this guy's about to get into a tussle, and I think we can kind of pull up pretty hard in this war, so let's go ahead and do it. Especially because he's trying he's the one who's trying to do this. We are going to want to call some people to this war. Um, 1300. Uh -huh. I know who I'm calling. Damn, he's at war. He's defending in that war too. I did not see that. Oh, he is definitely going to want to defend that fight. We're gonna get kind of spicy here. Call to war. Call to war. And we can... we can call some other folk in, but we'll be fine for now. I'm not gonna call this guy in and waste 750 renown on your paltry 95 soldiers. And he is gonna call his men. Put ourselves right on the border here. Raise all these armies and unpause. Oh. Over here. Over here. Arpetian? Arpeton? Divergence? And another cultural diversion for the French culture. So if we can get her before she does anything. Ooh, that's not good. This would be spicy. Yay! So they're consolidating their forces. Ah, 90 in the additional taxes? That's good enough for me, because that means we're getting a fucking mercenary army. <laughs> so what is a lot of this comprised of? And this is how you can kind of get get saucy with this. So I got a lot of pikemen. And what do pikemen... So they are uh, spearmen. So bowmen, if I recall correctly. Nope. Armored footmen counter spearmen. So ideally, we would want to use a 
mercenary army that does have armored spearmen or armored footmen, but that's going to be just too low in the totem pool to get to. So we'll probably pull in something like the Band of Horsa uh, once we make a little bit more money, or we're just kind of going to deficit. <clears throat> In fact, actually, I think we can do this. Can I just get some goddamn money from you? Bastard. I'm not calling you to war. I'm not paying homage, either. Okay. Where are my allies? Okay, good. They're coming. We'll be good. I'm not going to move from my capital. They're going to go take, attack probably Albion or something like that. But we just have to... We have to let all of our allies consolidate with me. And then we can kind of try to... Get some spicy, spicy sausage going. Okay, then don't. You will... Do this. Mm. I'm gonna do this. So it's 2700. Okay, that's enough. That should be. Well, <laughs> it won't really be enough, to be totally honest. What's giving them such high army here? That's a lot of men at arms. That is a beastly amount of men at arms, man. Look at all that. 396 heavy infantry? That's gonna counter the hell out of this for me. Um, okay. Where's this third army? Okay, I guess that third army is just not gonna come. All the way down here. So that they're probably gonna do this bullshit sh shipping around. You know, Andy, I've never made it that far. I, I've just been so busy making so many like videos and stuff like that for people that I've never really been able to <clears throat> focus on getting to that part in the game. Okay, so we're going to make this rally point right here. We're going to go into the deficit, unfortunately. <sighs> it's the same fucking thing either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Company of the False Earl sounds fun. We're in a bit of a deficit that's not good. You don't want to be in debt, because this is what happens when you're in debt. But I need to really make sure we can win this fight. And with just my warriors alone, we'll be able to now. Cool. We got him right before he could get away from that. This is his ally. Oh! Our knight? What is he doing out there? I thought I forbid him. I do not want him to be the knight anymore. So, even though he's badass, he's not a great knight. And I want him to stay as my marshal, because he's got such amazing stats. Uh, details. Knights. Okay, we killed this guy. Killed Emo here. And our guy just kind of got a little bit of a wound on him. No big deal. And we'll go down here. Got him. Our knight was... Arnul, no! Do not be maimed, bro! You... You're a personal champion, Arnul. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, so let's stop that. I'm gonna romance my wife here. Actually, that, that'll actually come back to hurt me. So got a Baron, which is nice. Oh, she's pregnant. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a fucking... That's gonna definitely be... 
a male child. Okay, so we're gonna besiege right here. See if we can't coax him out of doing something dumb. Well, no, if they're gonna do that, we're gonna go right for him. That most certainly doesn't help me. Any assistance from Upper Burgundy coming anytime soon? Nope, you guys are doing your thing down here? Okay, cool, whatever, fuck me, right? If I walk over here, they might help. How long is this gonna take? Five months, four months, no win. Do they have any, oh, they don't. I can, I can tip the balance on that. Well, organized levy. Four months. Four months. Yeah, this will this will tip quickly now. Now that I, we've brought the uh, siege weapon in, they are in another war. Yes, they are in another war. They usually will take. That'll usually take precedence. Oh, they're not in another war. They should now be coming to help me. Oh wait, no, they are helping me. It's these other bros that are in a war because they're doing this and they're losing that war too. <sighs> My brother has died. Can you give me money? You can. I might need that money from you. Done. That brings us out of debt. That'll help out with a lot of our uh, public order issues. As you can see, still three months on this. Getting personal. Ooh. In our latest correspondence to Henry of Burgundy made a mention in passing about a recent conversation he had as if the subject would interest me. These letters are supposed to be strictly diplomatic in their nature, but of course they sometimes dip into more personal topics. Oh, please tell me more. Yes, we shall do that, Duke. Henry. Yeah, it could be a name. But, uh, Mel, they all change. Oh. I see what you're saying now. But yes, they uh, all all locations change based off the culture that's that's controlling them. Like if I were to take York, it becomes uh, your uh Yorwick. Yorvik. Let us start from the Canary includes a whole passage about diplomacy. I had no idea he was interested in such things. He might have started off as as me just indulging him, but I might be in too deep to back out now. So what about vassals, huh? Let's see what happens. Ah! After a long discussion with Duke Henry about diplomacy and the research I had to do to fake my expertise, I realized that the subject is not as foreign as me once was. Discussion about diplomacy. Hmm. Of course, dude. Of course, bro. What I wish you could do is, like... Okay, we won that siege. I wish that we could, like, basically... Force... Um, someone to to leave a, a a fight like, hey, you know, pull out of that. Like you pull out of this war. Like no longer will you aid in this war. That is that is the ransom I'm going to demand to do uh, this fight here. For my capital, huh? It's known far and wide. Let them go for my capital, that's fine. Meanwhile, I restock. They do not. That just complicated my death. <laughs> Thomas? No, I don't like that name. Tommy? Gautier. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Name son Kanye. <laughs> Damn it, that fucking thing. Greetings, Duke Herbert Valmont. I would like to if your daughter, Marth, could visit my court. Who the hell are you, bro? You tiny boy child? Rowdy, um. Gaston, I eat 1,200 dozen eggs a day. Ah! I didn't think that playing would fucking... No, no, no. I'm safe scumming that shit. Safe scumming that shit. No, thank you. I shouldn't say it's coming, should I? I should accept the fate of what has happened. This is sad. My daughter died hanging out in the murder pond, as DC said it. Oh. I feel like well, the wind's just been taken out of my sails. How am I supposed to deal with this? Bullshit, man. I might have already sent her off. Go fuck off, man. Vorpal goldfish. Alright. Oof. Pierre is getting wounds here, man. Everyone's getting wounded really bad, which is actually don't. Okay, so now you're a fucking position. Good. Another child of my dynasty. I mean, can we just. Yeah, like. St Stefani. <laughs> Try jumping. Oof. What'd it say? Gyam. Oof. Sorry, Gyam. Alright, so we actually need to do... We need to get frisky with this. Our forces are being drained. Upper Lorraine needs to help us. Once they help us, we'll be good. And we're actually doing a pretty good job of beating them up. As is. So we're, we're recovering well enough. We have to take back Amien, but I kind of don't want to. Like, it, it, it'd, it'd take too much time to do so. So give us another war. Oh, nice. Anton the Chancellor. Okay, so we've got a nice grip of prisoners here. So Bruno. The mayor here. Oh, I don't like this guy. He's kind of fucking scary. Chancellor. I need a shit chancellor, man. You a shit chancellor on your party here? Yeah, we gotta go take the, the war target. I think that's a, probably a big a big one we gotta do. Yo, you better not do that anymore. Yeah, leave that situation, man. Oh, that I can't have that happen. Oh, Did we lose anyone important there? This guy got killed. Wounded, wounded, fuck. Wounded. I'm heading to my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from my window. Just the wind, I think. Ooh, my daughter. I've been sleeping around with Count Robresh. Robresh, Robresh. 
You fornicator? Oh, ho, 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 ho. This guy, Flanders is all up in my jam right now. We can ransom him, get some money. We will. Yeah, once we... I mean, that was actually a pretty shit loss right there. That was huge. We'll be able to come back from it. Again, my right, soldiers only five. We got 186 in reinforcements coming. I might have to go like really in the negative to get another mercenary. Once we get this back, we'll have defender advantage and we'll be good to attack there. There we go. Oh. One with high intrigue, if I don't mind. Oh, my wife. Uh, we were swaying the king for some reason and I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> So we sway over here now. 20% chance. Great! So we get defender advantage here. This might be a good tip. Oh! He just pulled another person into this war. Can we do the same? Can we do the same with our brand new baby boy? Alliance power. Fuck no. Got no one no one worth it for alliance power. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty far away is a problem. So it'll cost me a lot of Yeah, it'll cost me a lot of renown to get that person over to us. It's too far away. Nice. Won that one. Everyone's under house arrest? Good. Because if they're in prison, they have a chance to die. I think we gotta take Ami in. Boost up our, uh... Back up our, our, um... This thing. He's done this again. We have to. So the reason we're going to go for him is because this is where the Duke is. And if we can capture and beat him right now, then we win. Yo, you better come help me, dude. Thank you. Yes. Whew. Hugh, no. Okay. Damn it. All right, so we won that. We jump on that. Got him. And he's just kind of gives us these little wins, these little victories that help climb this up. But we still need to take Ami in or else it's not it's gonna be for naught. We go here, we might be able to grab him, him before he can do anything. Learning perk! Scholarly circles. That's what I want. We have to we'll go on a whatever it's called in a little bit. actually not a bad idea. Find a spouch. Matrilineal. Alliance power. Ah. Oh. No! No, 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 no! Shit! Oh, that's so bad. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that was... That was almost really terrible. Acquaintance, Gerhard dies. 
So wait, what just happened there? He's still in the war, so it's fine. But that means that she is back on the market. Or Bosnia. And Poland's really trying to push itself on me here. Welsh and Norman. I know Plasma is strong, but they're far away right now, so to pull them into a war would be pretty rough. Yeah, I'm not gonna marry Traits, traits congenital? No, thank you. Count Powell here. He's winning that war too. Holy War, Duchy of Pomeroy. The whole duchy? This guy's about to get stupid strong. Hey, welcome back. Welcome, man. I think so, MB. That, yeah, that guy's actually about to get really, really... He's about to gobble this whole thing up. Because he's... Handedly winning that. Okay, so let's actually let's actually try and jump into that. Range this marriage. We can make this work. It's my youngest son. Or I my granddaughter. No, 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 no. Don't I have a daughter that I can marry? Yes. Yes, yes! Into count himself! Yes! Perfect! Terminus, welcome to the channel, my man. We need matrilineal won't work. Perfect. So that means. That's going to solidify that alliance. They're going to do what they're going to do. But he's about to get stupid big. Well, by comparison, at least. So I'm going to try and hit this guy before he has a chance to grow. You should stop doing that. Perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll call him in because why not? Aha! I'll accept. Wanna why? Because they're about to win anyway. So the enemy commander is this Duke. That's why we're doing this, fighting this guy every time we see him, because it increases the chance of us actually winning and pulling him in as a, as a prisoner. If it, that dude looked pretty tough, but I mean, Polish people are a, st are a stocky sort, man. They don't fuck around. Oh, it's pause. That's why. Why isn't this going further? Damn it! Got the mayor. Not him. Any allies coming our way to help us? No, we do not. But they're crushing that over there. 
Yes, correct. Army damage contributes to how likely you are to capture the combatants. What? Too impeccable, however, I call on your arm. Who are you? Dude, why are you getting into a two pronged war, you idiot? Fame, fuck it. Didn't want to do that one. We're gonna need another mercenary contract. Because this is expiring in five months. And we need soldiers. Oh my god, claim a low county, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I only use one at rally point ever really. Lewis for a long time. This is stuff. A while encouraging less than groveling. So to do disgust me. But Lord. Huh. Damn it. Lou, you piece of shit. Kill the ally there. Where's he going? Try and head him off. Full quest has been excommunicated. I actually did not know that excommunication was a possibility. Can you rally and help me out now, Upper Lorraine, you dick ball? Alright, we need to. <sighs> I mean this I there's no way I'm gonna do anything with this thing. The Silesian War is is done for. I mean he had this one in the bag, and he opened up another war. Or is he defending in this war? Yeah, okay, he's defending. Okay, 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 okay. Just let that war go, man, and go for your bigger territory up there, you idiot. Where's he going? No, this isn't worth chasing him around. I'm just going to go for the war target here. It'll bring him into my territory again. All right, we're company dismissed. You do. You get a cast his belly against these guys. And where is his? Where is his land? Oh. Oh. That's pretty crazy. I didn't know that. So I'm going to do this now. We've got plenty of prisoners to make the money up. In fact, even we're going to do that right now. Um, hmm. This guy actually probably, I probably should have recruited him, but it is what it is. I'm just take these guys, get their money. Mercenaries. Ugh. We're about to get 60, that'll put us, yeah, okay. <clears throat> We're about to get 90, that'll put us at one to two, at 222. Oh, archers, counter skirmishers. He, doesn't, he, he has armored inf heavy infantry and spearmen, which archers aren't going to help against. So I guess we'll stick with this, because they counter heavy infantry. Company the false Earl. Welcome back.
Ugh. I have to hit this guy before they all kind of coalesce again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yes, good. So I'll start this fight. This guy will join in and reinforce. No, fuck off. Take my daughter to your murder pools. Oh, your daughter drowned. Don't know how. I do. So about to get reinforced, which is going to be nice. Are you helping, Lorraine? Yes, you are. Thank God. This is going to take out Champagne. Bowman kill Hugh. Our knight is behind. Wounded. Guy de Potier. Folk, please. Good, yes. Ah! Go away. Yes, I know. The peasant rabble back. Okay, so they're all trying to coalesce again. So, usually... Usually... I'd abandon this, but we're going to station besiegers. Reorganize this. I just want, like, how many besiegers does it even need? 400. You don't need 400. You can't 4,000. Okay, so we need to organize this. We just want levies in this for the most part. Is what we want. Merge everyone again. Station besiegers. Reorganize. I mean, I guess we're gonna have to do that. Sucks, but it is what it is. Actually, we're just going to let them all coalesce there, unfortunately. We need to just win this. Four days left. Okay. Forty-five hundred. Yeah, we'll we'll punch that in the nutsack. Got him. A new translation. God, he was so good too. He was like ripping and gripping all the way through this until he got maimed. He's so maimed, dude. He's maimed three times. One-eyed, one-armed. It's like the guy from fucking what's it called? More than anything, my quest to be learned, a learned man, is teaching me how I. How I do not yet know, how much I do not yet know. What more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. The Cult of Agriculture? The Regula Pastoralis? Which one do we do, guys? Regula, regular, not Regula. This war has been going on for a long time, for four years. And it's worth noting <clears throat> that long wars will cause opinion issues with your vassals at 10 opinion per month. Beyond, um, I believe a long war is considered uh, after 18 months, I think.
Oh, he's still going. It's just a scratch. Chanson de Geste. Is it Geste? Is it... How would I pronounce that? Can't even call him to anything. <laughs> uh, okay, so what are we doing here? Cap Court of Aquaculture? Or are we doing a regular Pastoralis? On how to lead a good life. Does anyone have a preference? I will just choose otherwise. Might gain a learning style lifestyle. lifestyle. Usually these things will also apply certain things to your locations, right? Like uh, the Court of Agriculture might give me development, something like that. Yeah, Court of Agriculture is kind of what I'm thinking because of the possible development. Let's go. Let's do it. Louis is wounded, dude. Louis, is... Louis is a good one though, man. Louis, the Louis, a hero. Our knight Sigismund. Sigismund, dude. To physician, to renowned physician. That's two checks back to back. No, I guess. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. Uh, something about count. Some Sigismund was hurt. Where the fuck is Sigismund? Oh. Well, maybe not the... Definitely not. Absolutely not the Emperor's Champion, that's for sure. Food? My food's fine. Combatants captured. Forces captured for the Chancellor, huh? Just a guy. Just a normal fucking guy. And my knights are all beat up, man. All right, let's go take that war target, for the love of God. I think he's about to stop over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see if we can grab him. Stop it. The tourney day can go to hell. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my knights cheer as Duchess Alex Adele announces the tournament in their honor and tells them to meet them on the other side. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney day stuck to a throne, however. I, too, cheer to my knights. Day is in our honor, my dear. I mean... My knights in a position... <laughs> my knights are, are all... Loss of limb, to say the least. I need to get some more, to be honest. I cheer to my knights. It is the right thing to do. It is in their honor anyway. Yeah, you can do that. Let's smash this guy out. So if you... You've got your early battle phase. If you can destroy them in their early battle phase, you completely wipe the army out. They don't even get to retreat. Uh, fuck. Can I take 32 stress? <clears throat> oh, I'll take two gold. Done. Ooh, Wi-Fi 6 coming this week? Nice, man. Still didn't capture him, huh? That's eight months. What's this? What's this town? That's a five? I'm, I'm honestly better at sieging the capital. Sixteen puts me up to uh, seventy-eight. It's not bad, but we will definitely need to go on a hunt soon. You can all keep working while I rest. How about it?
Ah, some rest. We'll just do some rest. The neutral one of the two. Dude, this, this, unfortunately, this war, this guy had this in the bag. And because of this war he had to defend against, it's just crippled him. And I can't go and, I can't go and help him, unfortunately. Let them, let them take Ami in, in the meantime. It's gonna take them three months. Oh fuck, three months? Oh my god. Oh yeah, sorry. It's shit. They're gonna be able to take that, then attack me. God damn it, man. A baron, huh? What kind of baron? Yeah, that guy can go. Not gonna do that. What are you about? Ooh! <laughs> well. Do we have other options for you? Who has you a prisoner, man? It's not me. Imprisoned by Duke Yom. It's not me, brother. You, though, how are you? Oh, you can go. You can go for sure. I've actually, I don't really ever change uh, religions or, um, what's it called? Because I kind of like the way they are. A specific phrase from the Court of Agriculture has been frustrating my translation efforts for days. I've been started, I have even started starting it, muttering it to myself sometimes. So starting with that one, are you? My bishop has a weighty old tome. Once it does, needs to know where to look. Help me uncover this, Thibault. Well, it's a 50-50 versus this one is I spend, it's cost 75 and it, he gains opinion of me. Why do you not have sterling opinion of me? He's teaching like all my kids. Well, let's see what happens if I do this. I might have to abandon the siege, unfortunately. per day. I could get spicy here. I might summon up another mercenary army and attack them from the back. Because mercenary armies summon up immediately. It would put me in extreme debt though. <laughs> That's the problem. But we get 41 gold from this. I think, it, I think we gotta do it guys. I think it's gotta happen right now, right here. We get another 41 gold. The mercenary army would die, but it would be enough to drastically drain them. Let's just kind of keep going through this, see how it goes. Left the prison, okay. Uh, you can marry. Inheritable traits! That's right, because he's a fucking monster, dude. This guy's a girth house. Send proposal. Okay, and I do not want you to become a knight. So what does she become? Oh, dude, mastermind philosopher. What a what a beast. This is your marriage proposal. We'll graciously take the hand of your daughter and holy matrimony got grant us grace. Yes. You shall now come to me at the court. Good. Well, the problem is that we're at negative twenty one percent, Samuel, and once they take that, it's gonna it's gonna kick them up quite a bit. They won that. I thought it was being attacked by Duke Matthias. Aquitaine, huh? Oof. Oof. Well, it looks like you can handle that. Do I have any un unraised soldiers? I got six unraised fucking soldiers. That's it. Alright, we're about to get this location, though, so at least that'll happen. They're gonna go for Marl. We'll have to see how much time it's gonna take. Oh god, another fucking 
Oh, the Duchy of Pomerania. That's fine. That's fine. That's I'm not. I, I have no barons upon those lands. Done. Captured Duke Boris's bishop, Hans. <sighs> Look at this guy, though. Holy crap! He's coming aboard. Hmm. Aspergers, huh? What's up, Colonel Bert? Yeah, you will be joining the party for sure. Look at this guy. He's a novice, he's a wise man, he's a scholar, and he's a mastermind philosopher. Hello, our new fucking tutor. Sorry about your bishop, bro. I mean, I could make my position, but my position's now, now he's, my position's pretty good, right? He's a master and philosopher, and he's a renowned physician. He's just got two less learning, so he's pretty solid, as is. So at least now we've got that capital. He's going to want to go take my capital. Little Dutch door action. Yeah, Hans Asperger, that was kind of a... Wild name right there, right? End this, please. This war that has gone on for 50 millenniums. Translator. Nice. Have any opinion? Hmm. Yes, I'll take it. Yes. Finally, same speed. My work has rested on a beautifully illuminated pages, all affected by a lavish cover. As if it's a work's importance, the tome has taken pride in the place in my library and every priest who reads it. Oof, tyranny. Okay, so. I actually like this one a lot, so we're gonna go for it. Uh, what, how old am I? 55? Let's squeeze a little whole body in there, huh? It gives us... Fertility's fine, but it's gonna give us way more, uh, health. My son's looking pretty dashing. I'd like to land my child. Yeah, we're gonna go for the war target right after we kinda see if we can stop this. Yeah, we hit their little ally here, but we'll go for the war target next. And the war target will make our our thing climb up slowly. I'll take an oh! <laughs> to appear, we have your wife. <laughs> That's a juicy one, man. That's a juicy one. You just kill her. You just fucking kill her, man. All this crap you put me through. Bruno! <sighs> yes, it'll get rid of Control's War Target from them as well. Correct. See, none of these guys are particularly worth it. This guy is holy crap! He's been in here for three years? How did I not know this? You're coming, you're coming aboard, brother. Dude, oh my god, this guy is a monster. He's good, but I just can't have him fight yet. I've never even heard of, of Hereward the Wake. Yeah, 
Hey, he is a he is a knight. Why is a knight? Okay, and that should we'll raise all armies there. That should put these knights right here. Needs a better hat. This guy needs a better hat. This marshal is not marshally at all. I'm gonna change him in a second. What's up, Caleb? How are you doing, dude? This takes six months. All right, let's see what they end up doing. A less out perk. So I want to get to learn the learn on the job gonna give us a lot of uh, good traits lost their war huh what was that what was the result of that what was that war for okay so they are now sieging this no soldiers yet let them just do what they want walk around my lands there we go Oh, six others in that siege. Mmm, mmm, brother. Okay, you can go. I have no use for you. I'll just get a weak hook so I don't lose dread. Maybe I don't need dread. He's like dying, dude. I don't see any reason to keep you around. Oh, you have a claim, though. Oh, bastard founder. Founder his own dynasty. Well, you're coming aboard, brother. Oh, you'll give me money for him? Sorry, I could use a, a cool knight. You, not so much. Yeah, really not. Ooh, she got a lot of claims too. The Holland and Zealand. Don't really necessarily need those though. You have a claim, I see. It's a sibling, huh? A brother, is it? What's this little guy? Why do I have a tiny child in my in my prison? Handicap chef, what's that? Mm, so good and tasty. All right, ninety-two percent. We are creeping north in that war. Recruit and raise who? The little child? The child doesn't seem to have anything worthwhile. This little guy? You got nothing. I have only begun. Holy shit. Did I just read that right? I think Ross just girthed me out with a huge donation. Thank you very much, man. Ross just donated 100 fucking euros. Largest donation of the day, of the last month and this month. Thank you so much, Ross. Hey, what's up, bud? Been a while, so get donated. <laughs> Thank you, man. That is huge. That was so sick of you. Thank you very, very much, man. Extremely generous. Woo! Ross, you king. I need to let this unpause and let some of these take action because I'm confused now what I can do. This army is to be dealt with. That's, that's eating for a week or two. Dude, uh, my rent just went up by $1,000. I went from paying $1,400, which was already expensive, to $2,400. So 
that you have no idea how much that helps. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ross. Yes, of course you'll accept my conditions. Everyone does. My sexual conditions. Ross has been a has been a friend of these parts for many years now at this point. Yeah, man, it's not. Well, I'm in a single bedroom, so I've done this to myself. To be totally honest, I didn't need to jump into this increase in rent, but I don't have to live with cats anymore. So my allergies are great. I sleep way better. That I'm not just surrounded constantly by allergens. Like, guys, like it, it is expensive and it is a huge drain, but I can't tell you how how huge of a quality of life increase it's been. Like, I sleep throughout the night. I've got no problems anymore. Like, it helps me out mentally, too. Because I'm responsible for my own space and everything. So it's like 100% my own. What's funny is, though, right here is a wall. And on the other side of this wall will be the roommate that I just left in the, uh, tomorrow. I'm moving tomorrow. We've known each other for like 15 years. Like, we're not... Like, I didn't say, hey, man... You're too much. I'm out of here. Ooh, wounded the Duke in battle, I see. I live in Ventura County, so right outside of L.A. The county next to L.A. The Tri-County area is Ventura, L.A., and, and Orange County. We have finally come to a win. We've been fighting this almost the entire camp, uh, the entire uh, stream. Oh yes, capturing all these guys. I mean, I can get, I can, we can get kind of horny here. Loot, loot. Anyone else have a particularly high loot? I mean, this one did. This had a pretty good loot. Where's this loot? It's twenty-three here. I'm good, Hugh. How are you doing, brother? Oh. I mean, I could just kill him. Ooh. That's the cat we're about to take on. So. There. Okay, so if, if, if that's the next region I want count or county wise there's really uh, acting on someone else's claim does not give me the land it gives them the land am i correct i thought that that's the way it was but i could be wrong I'll give me 10 15 Correct. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Man, I wish we could just get him and kill him. Good to hear, dude. Good to hear. So our our war thing should kind of just start ticking up on its own. And we've come out of this very... in pretty good financial shape, which is nice. That's fine. Come on. Come on, friend. Your f ah yes, my friend. Oh, my son. Thank you, son. Reliable chap. I've only begun. I didn't see how much that was. I gotta do this. Eli, thank you very much, man. Twenty dollar donation. F. One thousands of painful rent hike. Congrats on finishing the move, at least. Well, thank you, dude. Very, very kind of you as well, man. <laughs> it it ain't fun, but 
Like I said, I'm getting a dog too. I told you guys about the dog, right? There we go. So before we do this, I, I kind of want to just off her head. Just completely execute her. Could just gain a weak hook on her, but it won't work. Up to two characters. Who's the other character? One. You. Ransom. Alright, Hugh. Have a good one, my brother. I'm getting a dog! Bailey? I haven't lived with Bailey now in a long time. She's innocent. She's part of the tyranny, my brother. Matriarch, coming hierarch. Ugh. Can't cut off the head of a snake like that. Or ransom her to her own husband, and then we'll we'll conclude our we'll conclude our affairs. Ransom accepted. Ransom accepted. Enforce these demands. Let this war be over. Disband all. We have done it. So my rent didn't go up. I moved. Random. I moved from a two-bedroom apartment to a one-bedroom apartment, so that's why my rent went up so high. Petition the liege for whatever, I suppose? Let's see what I can do. How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, right? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know what I'm going to do with all those prisoners. I can't believe I haven't shown you. Guys, so here's the dog. that are watching in chat. Oh, actually, I'll do this. He's he's like a week old tomorrow. Put that there, put that there, put that there, and put that there. So here you go. This is the pup. That's the little dude. Right there, that's the pup. He is a mini Australian Shepherd. I'm pretty stoked on his coloration too. Like he's got he'll have like big old black floppy ears, hopefully. Looks like one's gonna be a little bit darker than the other. And I like like the coloration around his eyes. How it'll have like the the, the grayish merle around his eyes and like a little bit of a copper around his face. So he'll have a really fun, cool coloration. And his big thing is he's got a tail. Like that was what I wanted. It's pretty common for um, people to dock the tails in that breed, and I hate that shit. He's itty bitty. Itty bitty. I'm not paused? Oh, I'm not paused. Now I am. You know, try to send Bailiffs again, help out with county control. Alright. Eventually addressing me, you make some good arguments, but if I am to agree to your request, I'll need something in return. Surely you see you benefit both of us. Okay, what is the thing? He wants a weak hook on me, which I do not want on my liege. You'll be able to change my shit. So what do Royal Bailiffs do? Oh, that's really not that worth it. Oof, we can do Intrigue. We're going to be terrible at both of these, though. Ah! Nope, didn't work. <laughs> we can declare war on... Oh, for Harewald's county claims on Cambridgeshire. And Bukitiene here, I've got those claims there. I could go... I mean, he's all... Well, I mean, I'm kind of beat up, so let's not touch... Let's not do anything. Yeah, he's a little... He's itty-bitty. Thanks, Billy Robs. Appreciate that, man. Well, Alexander's a penis head. So, this we can put a trade port here, which I am definitely going to construct right now. 
and we'll let that kind of build its way up. In my capital, I don't think I'm going to do much anything. I mean, a, a military camp's not a bad idea. It only costs 85 gold. Outposts, Defender Venture plus two. That sun did change my succession. Like this. But he'll get these two lands. Where's my boy? We'll get this. I'll just disinherit him. No, I, no, I won't do that. Stewardship and leadership, huh? So leadership he shall be. Or learning, I mean. And appoint a child for him. We have plenty of... Actually, you know what, too? We got this. Let's go to courtiers. Court positions, I mean. And a court tutor. There's this one... Oh, that one person's not, like, amazing at it? I figured Hans Asperger's here would have been the king of the world. Oh, he's shy. Well, I think we'll put my daughter there, then. And she's much younger. We can afford it. No. My daughter. Bit on the head there. <laughs> You're not wrong, brother. Antiquarian for Hans, Seneschal, or Jester. Got some good bodyguard options here. I think this guy'd be a really cool bodyguard. What does bodyguard do for me though again? Has a chance to prevent assassinations. I'm not really too worried about that. I have tons of my own. Antiquarians can't do much for me. Artifact decay reduction enables you to reforge or repair artifacts and locks to commission. Oh, I can commission an artifact. That might be kind of cool. Let's do it. He's looking rather scary. Hans, become what you were meant to be. Only point two two, so we'll take it. Channel was watching your Castile campaign. Oh, Joey, welcome aboard, man. Let's commission an artifact. Let's do. Let's do. I'm doing it. I'm not necessarily a combatant. So maybe we do... What, what do we do, guys? A crown? Regalia? Regalia? We could do a weapon. Weapon be, I mean, weapon's kind of cool. The problem is weapons and armor give you... Um, Prowess, they give you um, uh, military stuff like that. I, I would think maybe Crown or Regalia. I think Crown gives um, prestige, and I think maybe diplomacy, and Regalia gives diplomacy and or stewardship. I don't remember. Regalia? Get that Orban Sapper done. Oh, she's inspired too. Perfect. An honorable empath. How great. <laughs> I have to pee soon. DC with a 20 pound donation. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the donation. I don't really have a need for any of these people. And I don't... I mean, no one here stands out to me, so I'm going to do this. If anyone wants to give me a weak hook, I'm going to take it. Even this child will give me a weak hook. You give me the hook. I don't want these people in my dungeon anymore. Because they're all too old to be like good marriage people or stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let that resolve. You, you need to, you need to look better, dude. You are my, you are my guy. I'm not bringing Dine will be sick for you, I think.
This is only available in Fort Nui. Yeah, I did cast away on free. Was that was I not supposed to? Is there something I'm, that I missed about having a tiny child? <laughs> That always gets fucked up. Where am I looking for? Edward, there, Jesus Christ. Male quaff. Kind of what I was looking for. There's a lot of really cool helmets. So I've got the community flavor pack, which adds all these really, 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 really cool helmets on here. And the EPE that adds even more sick fucking helmets into this mix. So if I go down here to like French, Western stuff, a lot of different crowns. But I got all these things here, these crazy ass looking helmets. Arabic, Western crossband helmet, which is pretty nice. Huge head, huge chin. Hollywood, that's awesome to hear, man. I'm glad I could entice you with Crusader Kings. That was really standing out to me. I mean, I love a great helm, but look how that clips through, you know? There we go. That looks sick as hell. All right, random. Thanks for joining in, man. I'm gonna take a look at our knights real quick. This guy's all set. Robert here. Not an amazing knight by congenital, like not congenitally an, an amazing knight. So there's nothing really to do much with him. Arnul is still ugly, but he is one-legged. But he's still a good knight. He has had young child. Louis. Arnold, Arnold, which I mean, I can put him in the. Oh god damn, ninety fuck. I I mean he was yeah he was decent enough military. We'll put him in. Roger was forbidden. Guillaume, he's fine where he is. Raoul, is he a cheap knight? Uh, not for fifty five. He's not. That's my son-in-law, but I don't want to be a knight yet because I want them to start having kids. But I think uh, we're, we're at enough um, Yes, you can do a bunch of marriages to get guests, which we're going to take a look at too. Uh, so courtier here. I want to see... age. Granddaughter, son, courtier. Uh, children of them, eh? No. Do people that have oh, organized by powers. Thank you. That guy is a beast. 38 to a five-year-old child. That feels dirty. But this is an example of, oh, I could have raised one for to become a knight. Uh, sure, I could have. I don't want to. <laughs> this is an example of how you can kind of game the system here. Like, marry these two. This guy comes across. Matrilineal, he'll come into my court. Um, and this guy is just a stupid good knight, right? So he would be my, he would join in. Yeah, they won't come until they've actually married, yes. So... A child is not going to be as advantageous here. So if I looked at... 12. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope, nope, no, no one's marrying my knights for that. Oh my god. That is just not it, dude. Oh lord. Yeah, and after that, it's just a bunch of, just a bunch of men.
Okay. Uh, court positions. Don't even worry about him. Him, though. Shy, honest. Uh, sure, if you want to, like, propagate anyone. I don't know what you could really do. Inheritable, see what we get. Age. No! God. Jesus. <laughs> Banishment. Every forties with him. Okay, I'll we'll pause that. So we're in a good position there. I'm not going to do that. Again, favor hook on Anton. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, gosh, I need to pee real bad. Guys, give me one sec. We're going to. I'm going to pee real quick, um, and I got to fill up my water bottle. So this, will, I'll actually be back in like two minutes. But give me just a sec. Be right back.
All right. Let's see what we can do here. My guy looks like he's just just addled, right? Like he's just on death's fucking door. But apparently not. <laughs> House carling is getting resplendent. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Legacies. Can't I do more? Ugh, someone did fertility. Why can't I do blood? Oh, I, I thought it just said I was a dynasty. I'm the house head. I'm the house head. Carling dynasty is Duke Gottfried here. Who is not looking good. Who is... Staggeringly high of health, but he's got the great pox and he's hunchback. <sighs> if I find a boy, uh, find a good alliance with my boy here. Where is this? Danish? No, oh, it's, it's right there. Javan. Um, vastly inferior, huh? All right, we'll wait a little bit longer then. Can ask me how to pay for gold, huh? So now he wants to give me gold, fucker. Good, Chris. How you doing, dude? So, go on a pilgrimage which might actually be pretty nice, but we don't really have a ton of money, so we have maybe, maybe kind of rein it in a little bit. Spend 250. Lose the 20 opinion of you. That's a dick. It's going well, Karma. We're, 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 we're getting there. All right. Did you have a... Oh, it's a daughter. God damn it. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, whatever she wants to be. Antoinette's a cool name. I like that name. Remember, pilgrimage actually makes money once you ask the Pope nicely. So, let's just do this right now. Go on a pilgrimage. What's all this crap? I don't want to go to Jerusalem. But the Vatican's close enough. We could go to Cologne. I think we maybe just go to the Vatican. It's going to cost us some money, but we'll use it to kind of come back around. The departure, it's time to depart. We might, you know what we might hold out for? Is tax rebate. <laughs> um, we might hold out for the, dude, Normandy is actually getting kind of, kind of big. Normandy is getting pretty scary to be totally honest with you guys. Um, we might wait for the Crusades and send our army out on cross crusade. We'll play it as you as you ask gold from the Pope while on the pilgrimage. I could get some gold, man. I'm coming to you right now. I'm coming to you for some shekels. And we could try to make so I want to do an Ultramare Empire uh, stream, but I wanted to oh yes, good, perfect. Now we can do noble bloodlines before that changes. Um Oh, he was That's not good. He was deposed. Or, well, I mean, he wasn't deposed, he just lost. 
the Duchy of Lower Lorraine. Oh, that was kind of spicy. He was excommunicated, is that what it said? How would I not do anything with her? The sun rules now? Oh, yes, yes, there it goes. He's studying. There it is, excommunicated, there it is, there it is. That's kind of wild, man. Alright, unpause that shit. But it might be kind of cool to wait for, because we're coming up on crusade time. Haha, -ha, wretched pauper! As my entourage travels through a small town, I feel a tug on the hem of my clothes. Turning to look, I see a thin, raggedy man staring up at me. Oh great lord, I beg of you, could you spare some coins for a poor beggar? I am starving and none of the locals will aid me. Though I am indifferent to his plight, being on pilgrimage reminds me that compassion for the less fortunate is expected from all devout Catholics. You dare touch my clothes, peasant? We kill this guy? In God's name, I guess you can take these coins. Bah, go get a real job. We'll go into debt for this man. Yes, just thank God, thank God. Uh, thank you, Lord, thank God. Thank God, was it? <laughs> thank, thank them too. But, if I could ask for another favor, my sister is sick and desperately needs medicine. Your money could save her life. Please, we would be most grateful to you. I can't. Can't do it, dude. Can't afford it, bro. Sorry, my man. We've already gone in debt. But immediately out of it. Invite him to the court? Okay. Can we do that? Never done that. Is there a reason? No, 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 no. We're not inviting him to the court. Absolutely not. He's got the great pox and he's lustful. He's going to cause an outbreak. All right. Inspiration, I remember. My beneficiary, uh, Svonhild, uh, approaches me with a thoughtful expression. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? She must read my irritation at such personal question from my face because she continues. I mean, is there anyone you wish to dedicate your commission artifact to? <laughs> it's turning out well, but a meaningful inscription would make it feel even more personal. To the to God, to my wife. There is no need for dedicate. Uh, only the Lord guides me. And make this a holy relic. Make this a holy relic as, that we take to the Holy Land. Only the Lord guides me. Ooh, limited crown authority, huh? I don't have any vassals, so I don't have to worry about. My crown authority just yet. Damn. Because your faith has the armed pilgrim attendant, determined pilgrim. Monthly piety per night, plus 2%. Green pilgrim, and 375. As the bishop offers me a blessing, I reflect on everything that has happened to God at this point in the time. Boom! Pilgrim, we are indeed. Now, let us ask that head of faith. Bolster my coffers, my liege. It's good to be home. Cool. All done there. Asked here. Um, cool. Money. What do you want? You don't get anything. Ray St. Matthew. What do you want? Oh, you're about to be the court poet is all I know, bro. You're a pretty good steward, but my son is the current steward, so I unfortunately cannot offer this to you. Um, uh -oh. Inspiration, a wife's touch. I saw my wife, Alex, chattering excitedly to Swan Hill, listing ideas and suggestions for Regalia. My metal smith is barely concealing her contempt, Clearly annoyed at my spouse's interference, and as you're forging regalia, she goes on, it may as well match my grandmother's old regalia. Uh, 
Come, darling. Let's leave it to the expert. Yes, for sure. Oh my god, that would give me so much anxiety. <laughs> Babe, shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> Could you have invented, invited the beggar to court? Was the actual wandering hireable character? Uh, you sometimes that stuff happens, but he was a, he was a shit character from what everything I saw. Um, okay, so we need to get kind of crafty here. Should we land my son? I can land him and give him balone. I do I have any extra baronies. Uh, like, what do you mean? I have extra ones. I'm not just sitting on baronies over here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ethan, I don't know, man. How old is he? He is 28 years old. He does look like Angelina Jolie Lee, bro. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, secondary castles, man. I'm going to construct a new holding here. Uh, in my land, I don't. I do here in Senelis, Senli. I should probably build up my, ca my capital a little bit. Maybe do forestry or hunting grounds. No spare castle slots? No, just holding locations. Make a holding here, you know. Larsis, thank you very much, man. 20 fucking do 20 euro donation from Larsis. Thank you for all the great content. Absolutely happy to do it, my guy. My guy is stewardship. That's a good call. Yeah, he is going to be... St he is... Yeah, if you land him, he can he can make a he can become a, a lifestyle choice. He gets a lifestyle choice. But yes, they can't get into war, so that can't be an issue. Why am I paused? Totally unintentional. Another dangerous faction, huh? He should, yeah, he sh if he is on your council and he's landed, he should make the choice to be whatever that is. Thank you for the donation. Got another one? Oh, watch that. Inspiration realized over here, my lord. My beneficiary, someone waves me over with a wide grin. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally the work is done. She does with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An ornate regalia, instead of fine craftsmanship. It consists of a brass scepter set with a piece of onyx, a linen cloak that has been embroidered with silk thread, and a brass cross bearing orb. That is lovely. So, what do we get? Duke Herbert's regalia. Fertility plus 10%. God, so much fucking fertility in this motherfucker. Uh, piety, prestige, and all sorts of greatness. So unfortunately, though, the problem with, like... The problem with this kind of playthrough is that I want to become a king. So we will... We unfortunately cannot, like, become the king of France, because the king of France 
Oh, dude, is there a king of Aquitaine right now? Oh, no, there's not. I'm surprised he hasn't forged the crown of Aquitaine. Oh, he probably needs a little bit more land. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Like, that's kind of the, the, the shit situation of what's going on right now. Is because I do want to, like I said, become a king. And there's not really many ways to do that. The Kingdom of France. I don't even think, I'm not even that line of succession anywhere. So I don't have a claimant upon the throne. Kingdom of Frisia? Well, to get the Kingdom of Frisia, we would need to go to war with the Holy Roman Empire. And that's just not gonna happen, man. Brittany is a, is a pretty... I mean, I could actually... But the problem is, like, you can't just do this. Oh, I can? I thought you had to be bordering them. Yeah, in order to become the king, you have to do a lot of intrigue. You basically have to uh, assassinate and, and put your way in line to the throne. So right now, the primary heir here is Prince Hugh of France. It's like, okay, I'm, I, I murder her, put my daughter in place there, and try to get... So it's like three generations down the line. Here's a nation to send your son to the barber for a new beard. Thank you very much, David B. Here, we'll do it right now. We'll do it right now. <laughs> this, this pitiful, this pitiful sod. Thank you for the donation. Just looks, he looks, he looks scary, man. A pointy beard. I like a good pointy beard on oh boy. I'm not third in line. So what am I third in line? No, that that's Duke Duke Henri the Foolish of Burgundy. That's not me. If it was me, that'd be great. I would do it. We can have some fun. We can kind of look around in that court. Nope. Ho! Oh. Oh, no, no worries, man. Right, so knock out this army. Kind of go up the line here. And Whoa! No! He was so good! He was so good! He was the best court position anyone could ever imagine. That guy's not bad, though. All things considered, not that bad. So, can I swap him? No, we can just kind of make him the court position. Or make this guy. But, ooh, he's a good knight. He's too good of a knight. I don't... Whoa! My antiquarian should not be my knight, by the way. Hans it is. But Hans should not be a knight. I have some like a court poet, I, I'm pretty sure I do. A court jester, I think poet can do that, right? Uh, no. Okay, poet, I have to wait. Yeah, that's gotta be for the king. Is he beautiful? Yeah, he's beautiful, alright, man. That's a good bishop right there. Not that bad, not that bad.
How much longer? We have this piece for three years. Foreign affair. Shorten that truce, bro. Oof, that chancellor can. Oof, I have no good chancellors, unfortunately. Even the marshals are just a better chancellor. Faction created against King Joffrey. This guy again with that shit? Influence limit crown authority here. Godfrey wants to. No! My son's not gonna go play in your death pools. Small harbor's been constructed. <laughs> That's a good... That is a good diplomat. Recruit. Welcome to the family. And we'll go to apostate. To try to get down here to learn on the job, though. Yeah, found us a new diplomat right away. Oh, we gotta wait. It's gotta go through. I know he's a powerful vassal, quote-unquote, but... Half peasants and half carlings. That's what I want it to be. People that we've come from the ground up. Go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> oh, this guy's actually be a pretty good. Is a pretty good knight too. So. This guy's a beast of a knight, though. Man, a hoss. And we can try and find you a spouse here. Do it by age. It's not going to be my granddaughter. You will not. You well, couldn't be. It could be worse. Russian, Zenia, by bloodline proton to make superior children. I like it. We'll do it. Gargamel is looking terrifying down here, right? Three months left though on his discovering schemes chance. And he's... what did I have him do? On the county? Which one? Baines? Where, where's that? Your courtier, other than return. Oh, that's good, good, good. So, what I'm kind of thinking here... Alex. Oh, that's right, she doesn't have a guardian anymore. We'll try it, see how it goes. No! Okay. Uh, that's terrible. Marshall slacking again? What's he doing? Ugh, yeah, he is slacking again. I don't know why that happens, man. Uh, so, yeah, we have him fabricating this claim, and he might be able to fabricate a claim on the duchy. It's very unlikely now, unfortunately. Or I could just switch his claim thing over to just doing my local border here. But we've got three years until we can even take part in this fight. So, I think we kind of just do this. What's our claim? Look at the Rames. And we could jump into a war with the duchy of Champagne, but it doesn't necessarily feel overly worth it. Oh, that's right, Colonel Burton. Hmm. Learned Eve's lover. 
the guest of King Philippe. Keep doing it. Keep, keep looking around over there. Embarrassed about a bad mushroom cut. God damn it. <laughs> the Kingdom of England's pretty... I like how it's an Anglo-Saxon. And it's up here too. <clears throat> and Norway's down here as well. Woo. Mmm. Stop everything. Stop everything. I am not going to war with Brittany. Because look who their ally is. England. <clears throat> that is a good alliance they got there. Dude, Matilda of Tuscany is in the Roman Empire. Bebimba. It's a man of Bebimba. Goblin who what? Where'd you see that? Oh, Godwin Bebimba? Uhtred, son of Uhtred. That is a very interesting turn of events. I love it. God is good. Ah, uh, my son here. Do my son has got a mop. Anything cool lines power wise? Take off inheritable. No, nothing cool really. Hungary, Galician, which is not bad, but Portugal. We did do a we did do a Bebin Be, 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 Be playthrough. In the Bebin Be. We were the Bebin Bearers. I don't know what's wrong with me. Montague. Inferior. Alright, so let's just look for traits inheritable. Clear that character. Go by age. And difference of five. Oh shit, granddaughter, we can we can do it. We can start the wind twist. Came out of nowhere on me, man. Bucket for his haircut. What's the worst that can happen? They just become inbred. <sighs> I think maybe we do Constantine Ram Constantina Ramirez here. Come Lee. But just to kind of get quick going. Uh, I am not using the better AI education mod anymore. Uh, Sard, I shut it off because of stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, we. I think we got to pull off of that. I think we'll do this instead. I. I just. I can't afford to fabricate a claim, on. Yeah, I. I haven't updated my mod list, unfortunately. Sorry about that, dude. I can't afford to fabricate a claim on Brittany for the duchy. Go to do it, because this is a. This is a new alliance. Yeah. Calling duchy banner? No, it's a, it's there for our house. It's there for our house. It's not the duchy that's got that banner. Yeah, 
I'm not, I'm not really sure how we progress, dudes. What do you guys think? Um, I'm just continuing to fabricate on Flanders here. We do have this small claim to Champagne, but I don't know necessarily how worth it this would be, right? I mean, sure, we can kind of tip this, but its I don't think it's really worth it. Why are you not happy with me? Why are you angry all the time, dude? Why is everyone all angry? Oh, okay, that's right, these two are... It does have a Cafe Fleur. Capet. Er... Capet? I don't remember what it was now. Ah, while performing his duties, Mayor Gargamel has uncovered a secret held by Count Robert of clermont sur Soyez, whatever. He has been engaged in carnality with a duchess. Okay. Toulouse! I wouldn't be able to marry into the French crown. Yeah, the sun. Oh, okay, it's just it's a different entree. I was like, who the fuck is this? Who wants to kill Benilde here? Who's already like dying? Yeah, I I forgot you can't claim the duchy if like don't you have to do the the fabricated claim on the capital of the duchy to get the claim with duchy success thing? Any part, huh? Well then fuck that. I thought I thought you had to do it on the capital and it increased the chances of it. This is way faster than waiting two, three years. She's come of age and she's an astute intellectual. Grow up fast. All right. Are you worth it? Because you're... Maybe we break this patrol though. Because this is no longer much of anything. I think we break that patrol. Though. Because he was at one point scary. But now they are definitely not that. Yeah, they definitely suck now. And they've got a lot of allies. But they were they were in a war with the Duchy of Pomerania. They were about to win that duchy. And that did not happen. Yeah, they failed Pomerania pretty horribly, actually. Break the patrol though. We'll get her we'll get her, we'll get you a new a new husband, my dear. this that's far that's farther this is close enough I think we do Savoy or Diamyak down here in the lands of Aquitaine Nope. Yeah, well, this this is a better one, I think. Come on, Duchess. Eh, 
That's a better patrol, though. Oh, he's not even of age yet. Huh. Where? Poppycock. All right. Who are we swaying? Pope Alexander? I guess once that concludes, we're going to need to keep going. Okay, so what should we do here? Uh, is this... Let's put that on like two. Um, I don't think that there's much we can do. He's not the primary heir. It's just a child. Oh, he is the primary heir. If I try this. So save. Yeah, 1000 negative. No, no, <laughs> most certainly isn't doable. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, fuck swing him. Sway him now. And. Off reward. Of my granddaughter, King Philippe. We'll accept that. There we go. Should increase his opinion. Ah! Sodomy! <laughs> oh, you're a sodomite, huh, Mayor? Dude, look how he's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's he's going to like, oh my god, what did I discover? <laughs> he has a look about him right now. Why is he still all negative? Uh, didn't we do the other thing? Guardian to your relative. He's not kicking in yet. I think it takes a month. But I think if we do this, like, that could work, man. Let's try it. We'll save it. We'll do the, we'll buy his love. <laughs> save it again and try this. I want to see this works. I, mean, I could dip my artifact, but... Humphrey is gonna die. You aren't wrong. He is sickly. So who's in line? That is her. My grandson. That can happen. Okay, so what happens here? How do we do this? How do we make this child die? Well, yes, if we do that, you don't want sorry, you don't want Metro Lino. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Um, I mean, this child's more likely to die than anything.
Oh, we can't invite him to the channel. Fucking fucker. Yeah, but we can't really make sure he dies. It's surprising that I'm, I can't do that. I mean, even if I have him support schemes. I've never really been good at this part, at, at like kind of trying to create the, 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 the intrigue here. Scheming efforts. <laughs> well, there you go. Fuck. <clears throat> His wife is twenty seven. Imbecile. Whoa. Yeah, he's definitely going to have more kids. So what do we do? Do we marry the daughter? Do we do this marriage right now? Is this what we do when we try to finagle this? Because th does that put him in line for the crown? Because I thought that that did not. I thought that, that removed her, removed him from the clown, the the crown. God, slow is bad, dude. His children would be. But see, that doesn't help me, though, right? How do we make this work? Do both? That's actually not bad. Yeah, see, the problem is it's my granddaughter. It's 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 removed from my lineage of play. In the sense that I'm not going to be playing my grandson. I'm going to progress to my son. <laughs> if your dynasty member is your king. You basically rule from the shadow. You're not wrong there. You kind of be like a puppet king. You make them kind of a puppet king. So you wait for succession and ask the Pope for a claim. Easy clap. Never done it. You can claim any titles your dynasty member has. Ooh. Okay. So let's maybe we get a little. Can you show line of succession for a second? Yeah, sure. This is line of succession. So the sickly child, then the daughter, and then this is the brother. King Philip's cup bearer. It's just a cup fucking bearer. That's it. This is house, but he's house. Uh, he's in the house. And then the grandson of Duke Henri. Okay, so let's, I guess just do them both. The grandson. Oh, my line of succession? I mean, here you go. Yeah, we'll do both. Does my heir have a boy? He does! <gasps> it's this boy. It's him. Holy shit. How did I not know that? But here's the problem is it possibly introduces slow into my line. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just have some fun. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, playing the, the whole genius game is kind of boring. Okay. Arrange that marriage. 
arrange this marriage. Schema discovered. <gasps> ah, that's fine. <laughs> So now we are, like, really solidified in the French crown. So we have a really strong ally now in France. Good call, McDaddy. Absolutely, Sarduk. Sar 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 Sarduk car. Sarduk car. Sarduk car. Another secret that we learn. Lovers. Oh, these two are lovers. No. Oh. That is just fancy. I don't think we can murder him. Are we scheming against him right now? Oh, we're swaying him. Okay, so we've done some pretty some pretty sly shit right there. I like that. Don't really know what to do with it. We're just going to let things play out as they play out. Oh, okay, so wait, wait, wait what's happened? So Aquitaine and Toulouse are now independent. Broke out of Valinois and went down here to Aquitaine and got fucking horny. So France is no longer that, I mean, scary still. Yeah, see, that's what I kind of want to do is try to get now into here. And he's super young. Toulouse, super old. Well, he's just older. Give me that motherfucking Duchy of Flanders. What does the French court look like? Let me take a look. I think we get the Duchy of Flanders going here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. Yes, all of Flanders will be mine. I do want to take Aquitaine, though. I would like to just, like hold a crown and I don't know why but like in France Aquitaine's like my favorite we cannot go to war with them though for seven more months <laughs> okay so we got a lot of secrets here we have a lot of secrets kind of like pending I don't know if any of these are really worth it, though. Who are you? Okay, that's the subject. Count Robert. Can get him to join in. No, it would pass. Oh, no, you're right. It's an unpressed claim, so it would not pass. Uh, we could jump into the steward tree once we get learned on the job. But. Aquitaine? It's not Aquitaine? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Oh, we need to do that war quick. Do you have... Do any of them have core positions? I have a core position with the king. Here is the king's court. Oh, no. None of these. None of these. I don't have any hooks on any of them, no. I 
I, I'm in good health. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about him dying. He's ailing. Uh, okay, so we gotta get this war going quick. Oh, the court positions. I don't think there's a way to sort this by core positions. You're talking about this, right? By courtiers? A 3D court of France. Okay, here you go. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? We are currently doing that right now. A lot of actual artifacts, too. Oh! I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not going to pronounce that either. Skull cap of Charlemagne. Someone needs to repair these, man. Dude, he is expanding. Normandy is just going through these little expansions here. Check secrets for core positions. I, I don't think anyone here. Guests. Count Rock, Suffragan Bishop. Son of Baron Theory. And it's just a vassal in the Kingdom of France. Fellow vassal, who's also a vassal to France. This guy. The Count. Who Duke Gihelm's court physician. There's no Kingdom of Normandy. That'd be cool if he did. Uh, okay, so five more months. Oh, easy. Yeah, we'll just do this. troops. He was exposed by Mayor Gargamel! Okay, learn on the job. Done. Do we want to do by claim interaction? I figure maybe we just pop over here to stewardship and get golden obligations for a little bit, maybe? Try and get all the money for all these perks, all these hooks we've got, just chilling in here before my guy dies. Look at all I got 19 hooks I can try and cash in on. And they're just like hooks I just bought, you know, like the guest. Oh god, she's so hideous. I can get one from her, from him. This is a steward. Or do we just stick here on scholarship? Go down to scholar. Oh, good. Yes. Fuck. Get in a war. Get in a war. Yes, weaken your armies. Ah, uh, yes. Only a DLC. Five Aquitaine claim. I uh, okay. We can try it. Never done it. Like like, like the kingdom of Aquitaine. I think it's I think it's a thousand seven fifty. It's seven fifty for a for a kingdom to buy. I don't know how, I don't know how much longer we'll be alive, but can't hurt. I mean, we're in good health. Oh, it's done. Declare this war. Your claims. The Duchy of Flanders. Boom. Sam, but we will be doing. We want to. We want. We want the kingdom, though. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. You can't make. Uh, you cannot buy unmade titles. You're correct. Are you in a war? No. Are you in a war? No. But I'll take you because you're closer to me. Yeah. I'm gonna call your ass over here. No. We shall get our bro of bros who's helped us before. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho. Duke Henry trying to do some murder, I see. Fine, you do that. I'll just go right over here. It's supposed to launch in the first crusade year, Colonel. Or at least around then. I believe every time, every point after that, it increases substantially. He's going to probably try to cut off my reinforcements. Yeah, let, let that happen. Whoa, what are you doing, man? Dude, Jesus Christ. This is not going to be good. Oh. Oof. Hey, Richard, calm down. <laughs> I have your son now, motherfucker. <laughs> Honestly, I could just kill the sun. Oh, I don't have the sun. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's just one of the suns. I thought it was his primary heir. But I would have just killed it. Killed it. King loves me now. I paid for his love. What's up, Saketh? Let's just get this actual siege done. Started at least. Good. There we go. He's covered a lot of good secrets. So he's doing this siege. This is going to take four months. This is going to take me seven months. But I think we just go over the war target here. daughter. Ooh, are you a knight that should be a knight? No, you should not be a knight. Uh, 
this little guy. Yeah, let's commission another artifact. Oh, we'll wait a little bit. It is not an election. No, it is not an election. Do I have Sanction Warrior Feudal Contract? My Feudal Contract? I don't. What up, Flash? Martha has come of age. Prince, Grand Prince Vladimir. Damn. This is just a, a nice one, so I'll keep it going. He'll come join my court. Where's the Duke? No, he's with this army. He's for sure with this army. Commanded by the ruler, yep. He's a damn good commander. Got another child. God, they're all over the place. And you've made another goddamn daughter. This daughter bloodline I've got here. Julian. All right, that was a good, pretty good little little grab, little grab there. Adelbert, against Hornet with your Chancellor Adelbert, and I must say I've come to see you at a new light. Good, the Duke of Normandy. Good, Adelbert. This little dude, huh? That's twenty-five gold for him. Divert and get shield maidens. Incest. Dauphin Bertam. A Provence. I, dude, he is just getting everything. Robert, you better calm down. You're a really good knight, so you better not be wounded. Okay, good. It's fine. You calm down, too. Get rid of that scarred wound here. Oh, traction through the roof now, dude. So all my knights get him. Oh, this guy's okay. Ooh, that's the wrong guy. That guy actually should not be the leader. <laughs> Oops. That's my chancellor. We've done it. We have done it. So let us do this. Prisoners, give me this money. We have done it, my bros. Did you just kill him? Cancel the war. Uh, I just ransomed the, the 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 grandson. It wasn't a it wasn't a one of these guys. He does become my my vassal though, which I'm not too terribly keen on. I could just execute him. Uh, actually, only you can. Oh, I could. And then go attack his son. If you kill the dude before you reinforce the demands, it'll okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's just get it over with then. Become the Duke of Flanders and the Duke of Bellum. Ooh. I just realized something. I'm not, I, I'll live longer for sure, but succession. Yep, that's exactly it, McDaddy. 
Succession is going to immediately become an issue. Gaultier is going to inherit Flanders. And there's no way around that outside of just outright disinheriting him. Or I could force him to take vows. I don't see disinherit on here. I'm not gonna murder him. I could murder him. I should murder him. Just getting fucking crazy in my old age. Oh, yeah, you have to be the head of the dynasty, which I keep bouncing back and forth with. I've never made anyone take vows, though, so I kind of want to do that. Because he's not, I'll be honest, he's not going to be a particularly cool child. Like, that sounds fucked up, but... Been neglecting the tithe. Give them a son. Let me go pee again, real quick, guys. One sec. Oh, that is a good point. My primary heir will own all. He'll own the Duchy of Flanders and the County of Boulogne. So I'll be back in the exact same position. <laughs> we are Confederate partition. Oh, we are just partition? Holy shit, I didn't know that. That's actually kind of nice. And we'll commission another artifact, but this time you shall make a resplendent suit of armor.
Alright, we'll see how it goes. Dependable, dependable scale armor. Sturdy La dude, Lamellar. Lamellar is one of my favorite sets of armor. Ooh, I could just trust her judgment. Oof. I always feel like the trusting her judgment results in a better artifact. But I love Lamellar. We're gonna do Lamellar. It's kind of just my thing. The scale's cool, so is Chainmail, but you know what? Lamb it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and save there, guys. I think this is a pretty good solid spot to end it. I just realized how much time this armor is gonna be Garbo. You're Garbo! You're not you're not wrong. She's got no martial or prowess, so it's not gonna be cool. I'm pretty sure that affects it. Um So, I think, like I said, this is a pretty solid place to end our stream for the day. I just realized that after I came back from uh, the P trip. But we got Val, we have uh, Valois, the Duchy, and now Flanders. So we're in a pretty good position, and I think we can kind of start trying to work our way somehow towards Aquitaine. Um, there's some kind of intrigue. With the title itself, we could try to buy the a claim to the title of uh, the Duchy of Aquitaine and then move into that. Um, I'd really like to get a kingdom here, which which would be pretty pretty spicy. Like, okay, well I can't get a claim on that. Let me see this for this claim. Use a hook. Um. It's not that I can do that fight, though, but that's pretty cool. We could get an actual claim on a pressed claim, which would pass to my children on King Philippe. I don't know how we do. I, I have no idea how to navigate that. That is a level of stuff I've never done when it comes to Crusader Kings 3. I've never, like, done the intrigue of it. I've never ever, like, okay, press request claim, gotten the claim. So what do you do? You request the claim, then start a, then start, uh, a thing to... You do this. Uh, credit claimant faction. That could be so fun! What are, what are our hooks like again? We have one on the Duke of Burgundy, one of Provence. I mean, the count here. And this guy likes me. I could work on working on him. Who was swaying? King Philippe. Okay, so yeah, that is the king of France, the province of vassal. I know you don't need strong hooks, but that um that increases that I thought. I, I thought it was like, it's harder for them to pull out. I mean, that's three vassals I can get in on that. That's 1800, that's 2300. Dagger Raw, Dagger Roy, Dagger Roy, what, Dagger Roy, Philip, what, what, Dagger Row? What do you, what do you say, McDaddy? Man, I think we have some fun with this. I think next episode is going to be a lot of fun. Get the King's Vassal list, okay. Duke Robert kind of likes him. Uh, Etienne 
All right. Most have at least some, all the dukes for the most part. I mean, I would, two of those dukes are already, uh, Dauphin Borton and Guillaume are pretty much on my, uh oh. Dagger King Philip then pushed the faction. Oh, oh, okay, Rue. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why is Burgundy not in Burgundy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Return the Impaler. This guy's, this guy's insane. I love it. Really, the tipping point would be Normandy. If I could somehow kind of like get him on my side. <clears throat> This guy's just. Ooh, yeah, that's right. If they accept that hook. So we have to. So when he dies, it'll go to his son. You gotta deal with that shit, too. And he's about to die. Well, we shall deal with this shortly. And by shortly, I mean next episode. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching here today. We had quite a few donations to go through, so let me give out those thank yous. I know the biggest one of the day was from Ross, dropping a massive $100 donation. So thank you very much, Ross. But let me go through the rest of them. Because we got... David B with a twenty dollar donation, Larsis with a twenty euro donation, DC with a twenty pound donation, Eli with a twenty dollar donation as well. With a two, four, six, eight, uh, and David B with another five dollar donation. And David B also renewed his um, membership to the channel. So thank you very much, David B, and Will Max with a five Canadian, a five dollar Canadian donation. Oh, and Abba with a five dollar donation as well. Thank you guys all very much. Hume, huge, huge bit of generosity from you guys here today. So thank you very, very much. So we will be back here on Thursday, continuing this stream of our conquest of France. Um, and we will have an actual, what's it called on Thursday? We'll have an actual, ooh, excuse me guys, sorry about that. We'll have an actual uh, history time on Thursday, and we'll discover more about the early history of France, the Frankish kingdom as it is, before the, um, the formation of uh, the fledgling Holy Roman Empire under Charlemagne. But thank you guys very much for watching here today. We'll have plenty more content coming out. I'm trying to get access to some way the, the console version of the game to help out people with navigating the UI, because I don't know anything about it. Um, but I do have a plan too for a fun Bannerlord can uh, a stream down the road that I'm working on and we might be jumping back into some Warhammer 3 action to see how this new patch goes. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching here today. If you have any other questions about stuff you're confused about in Crusader Kings 3, please, by all means, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help out. Take a look at all the action. I'm gonna gobble up Aquitaine now. You too, Flesson. Thanks for watching, my man. See you guys on Thursday. All right, bros. Everybody, have a good one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay. Take care. And again, I will see. Ooh, look at Scotland. I will see you guys on Thursday. But toodles.